It's all ticked away, let's come out of here and get to our latest, potentially greatest map. We have to load the save game, but let's have a look at City Construction Kit first, because sometimes it can reveal some vital details. Here it is, Alpine Valley Mark V. The year is 217 BC, so I believe we're at the height of the Punic War. I forget if this is just before or just after Cannae. Whatever the case, though, it's, uh, it's probably not good for the Roman Empire. The map here, we can see a little preview of it, so... We're going all along a river, or a valley rather, we can see the raised, or perhaps lowered land on the sides here. A large central province. The city is besieged, this is what I really wanted to see. So in Toga Boy's own assessment, or Toga Boy's, I think we've got dual council right now. Um, dual council, dual, 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 dual dictators? I don't know, right? Truth be told, my Roman history is not perfect. Far from it. In any case, he thinks it's besieged, so I should expect a lot of attacks coming in. And we've got to get low culture, great, high prosperity, not great. A lot of peace, tons of favour, lots of people. I only have 30 years to do it, okay. And then to actually see it, we can go along to here. And get stuck in. Co-consoles, thank you, Matineo. Right, before we even look at the map here, let's see what our co-consoles have to say. It is Fabius and... I forget the other guy, but I think the other guy's the one who was responsible for the annihilation at Cannae. Or at least getting roped into the annihilation at Cannae. Alright, what have you, Caesars? Ave, Governor. When I heard you were the one to draw this assignment, I nearly dented my marble pillar. Maybe this is for the best, considering the Carthaginian threat lurking off the shores of Sicily. I can't trust you to hold your own against invasion from the south, so I'm sending you north, where surely even you cannot fail to establish a prosperous city. Nestled at the base of the peaceful Alps, Rome never got along with the natives there, but I'll be stabbed in the Senate before the day those barbarians actually unite against us. Be that as it may, establish a city. Maybe I'll have more heroic stations for you next time, Caesar. Palmar is very kind and often puts hints in his uh, in his parchment here. Tax is crucial. Luxury trade items cannot be relied on. Your enemies come from they aren't using roads. I hope that's not as cryptic as it might sound. Right, away you go. Tax is crucial and they're not using roads. So that's probably saying that these are not invasion points. Okay, probably not an invasion point, probably not an invasion okay, but I see other possible invasion points. And you trust them? Dear, well, I, I kind of have to. Invasion points cut off a large amount of area that you can't really build on. So, uh, at 9,000 population, I do need a lot of space. And also, this is a large map, a lot of it is broken up due to the water and the high ground. So let's go and assess the map from what we can see so far, what we have to work with, and get cracking on it. I'm going to start with those invasion points. That is a million percent an invasion point. There's no way you'd put that there without it being somewhere that either the Romans come from or the enemies of Rome come from. And we can already see that it's not an entry point. So invasion here. I would have said this is an invasion point, but because there's a road, no. I don't usually notice one tile wide invasion points, so I don't think that would be it. This is an invasion point. This is an invasion point, or two. Wouldn't make sense to put two there, but let's just say enemies will probably come from here. Same from here, but probably not here. It's actually kind of nice to know that this is probably safe. It's not great for building on, but it's good enough. Invasion point here. Okay, so we're pinned in on all sides, and that's going to put a lot of pressure on the building of the city because forts are rather large and they have a massive radius of disgusting desirability. No one wants to live near forts. Even Jake, feeling better? I am feeling better, thank you. Probably not sounding it, but I do feel fine, Proto. So the question is, where does the army go? I'd like the army to be central so that they can react to threats anywhere, but... Yeah, I also want all my houses and things to be central, so it's going to be a difficult choice. We're told we're besieged. I don't know by who, but probably Carthaginians. So, 
Carthaginians fight like hell, you generally want three or four heavy infantry backed by uh, two or three javelins. Because those elephants are nasty to take out in Malay. Well, they're nasty to take out any way you have it, so it's better to have them choked up by heavy infantry and then stabbed to death with pilach. Hmm. Did you get a chance to skim my vod for the... No, not at all, Dennis. I went to sleep and didn't wake up until uh, not long ago. Alright. Right, right, right. I'm also not sure I will. I mean, I just wanted to hear your assessment and I'll check out the game in a long time when it's done with early access. Okay, right. God knows where or how I'm going to build, but let's focus on other things. What do we have available? We have got all water, all medical, no small temples. Palmar knows that I don't play with god effects anymore. Um, I think they still just turned off small temples to make it a bit more expensive to set up our own... Stuff for evolution, but that's not a big deal. On that, if anybody ever finds out a way to turn god effects on, but only the negative god effects, I would happily run with that. The main reason I play with god effects off is to avoid abusing Neptune's blessings and to avoid having god ghettos. Because god ghettos are ugly. I suppose that wouldn't fix the second issue, but what can you do? There is a mission post... Well, we have all, all education, but there is a mission post. And there are natives. But what I'm not seeing... Hang on, hang on, let me just do this. Don't mind me, Caesar. I don't know if this is by design or by mistake, but there is no native meeting hut. So, although we have all these natives, they are not going to bother us. They're not even going to spawn. Natives do not spawn in a map unless there are native meeting huts. At least one. Doesn't even have to be accessible. Just needs to be on the map. So, actually, a native meeting hut is pretty much just like a, a piece of rock or some elevated ground. We can't build on it, but we can happily ignore it. Okay. Good to know. So I guess they're just there for looking nice. They, well, I suppose they would have blocked a little bit of land building here, but they're easily pacified. Point is, they serve no threat and they serve no purpose, so we can happily ignore them. Uh, something's missing from entertainment. There is no hippodrome. Theater, amphitheater, coliseum, gladiator, lion, actor, no hippodrome. Damn, that is... 35 points of entertainment we will not be able to get. I love the Hippodrome. It's very powerful. It's very expensive. And it's huge. But it's exceptionally good for leveling up all of your housing. So that's a shame. Yeah, I played Ixion and it sucks, Tonisser. I don't know if it's been improved. I saw that it got an update, but nothing on it made me think, Ooh, I want to play now. Right. We do have access to the forum, thank goodness. But there's no Senate. Which is a little strange. The the, main, the the thing you would do is you'd have no forum but have one senate to make taxation difficult, but usually that just causes me to have lots of small castle, which looks hideous, so I think Palmar stopped doing that. Uh, in any case, forums at least mean we can get taxes going, and we were warned that taxes will be important. That's fine, I am usually pretty good at taxing the togas off of my people. Very limited engineering buildings. There's no plaza. There's no shipyard. There's no wharf. There's no dock. But that just tells us that there's no seaborne trading at all. No plaza is usually quite difficult to work with. At least we have statues. But it does make space quite a bit tighter. Walls, towers, gatehouses, prefects, forts, military academy. Sweet. So we're not going to be fighting the Carthaginians with sticks and stones. As for... Yeah, it's better to look here. Our available resources. Two types of food. Clay, wood, and marble. Stingy, but if I was going to be reduced to a number of food, this is actually the best. Uh, number of goods, this is best. I can level my housing up to medium insulae quite easily. Although, why would I? I'll be fine at a small insulae. Marble for building the temples. I'm very surprised that I have to import that. No fish, which is weird because there are fishing points, but I guess 
much like the natives, that's just there for scenic looks. Hmm. And you can tell it's a Palomar map because he's put arable land everywhere. He, uh, something that's in pretty much all Palomar maps is that they are at least bisected by water and that there's always arable land wherever there is water. I wonder if Palmar played a lot of Pharaoh then. Military Academy tells me this map will be will abuse invasions. I think the invasions will abuse me, Orlov. Right. No hippodrome must mean no earthquake, says Anon Finn. A Palmar map with no earthquake. Palmar maps tend to have a really ineffectual earthquake that does nothing to anybody. Okay. One thing that I haven't addressed is the money. We get a lot of money. 5,100 denarii is a ton. I mean, that that's nice. It means I can actually start off building a city. But I don't know what the financial pressure is going to be. We were told that we cannot rely on luxury goods, right? I hope it's not a case of we must import luxury goods before all the trade is cut off for them. Because we are going to need olives for oil. But if it was something like that, then you'd surely warn the map maker because it would become unbeatable if we couldn't have patricians because the prosperity requirement is all the way up at 95. Okay. My main issue is that popul um, population. 9,000? It can certainly be fit on this map, but it's not going to be easy. Especially knowing that we're going to have big invasions come in. Okay, truth be told, I really don't know what or where or how I'm going to be building up. We're going to need a lot of farms up to feed our people, and we're going to need lots of people. Do, 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 do. I also need to consider where I'm going to be able to do marbling. This is just raised land, it's not rocks. Where can I even do marbling? There's space around here for them. It can be very difficult to tell what is rocks and what is raised land. Ah, we could get a little bit done up here. Ah, quite a bit of it done up here. This is actually an excellent place for it. Relatively safe. Oh yeah, this could happily be plenty of marble produced here. Could even be the industrial district. There's food as well. The only problem is this. Uh, oh, but I could set up towers here to annihilate invaders. Yeah. This could be kept rather safe, actually. Walls and armies could choke this. I couldn't reasonably build up here, could I? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. It, it's very difficult to consider the safety of this map. It's so rugged. I feel like I'll ever play these days are rugged maps. The last time I had a map where I just had a lot of space to build whatever on was probably Dunkill Oasis. On reflection, a very easy map, undeserving of the name. Right, let's, let's actually try and figure out what we're doing here. I think this is a great place to start off the glorious wheat economy. With a population like that, I'm going to need uh, about 30 farms, which is a lot of farms. That's a lot of space to chew up. It's worth considering that this area is completely safe. Oh, no, something absolutely worth considering is that the road to Rome is blocked. I think the road to Rome is here and definitely here. So I do need to allow people through, and I can use low bridges. There's no seaborne trade to care about. Yes. Something else I could consider is the enemy's movements. I could force them across the water at certain points, but I will need to go on both sides. Something else I need to think about is what I'm going to be exporting, and have the prices been tampered with. These look okay. My instincts are telling me that something isn't quite right with them, but... Oh yeah, crikey, look. Seller receives 15 for vegetables. That's not right. I think 130 on marble and pottery both seem rather... I, I, I swear these have been artificially lowered. Okay, well, what can we what can we sell? Mediolanum buys our vegetables, but at that rate, it's not even worth considering. 
Massilia buys our furniture, which is great. Also, a lot of wheat. Wheat sells for crappy money, but you can uh, export that very easily. However, it's land trade, so I wouldn't want to bastardize it. You should get marble and furniture. Massilia is a definite place to trade with. And what about weapons? We're going to need weapons. Mediolanum's iron exports are going to be vital. Lutetia will also buy pottery and... Okay, so there's a lot of early trade to be done. Including importing iron to sell weapons. Okay, so I... Man, I want to set up a nice city immediately, but I also want exports going. Alright, alright. Hey there, Panda. What, you mean they're, they're not employing talented map makers? Left, right, and center. Gaia, I'll be honest, I really don't know where to start all of this. There's a lot of space for building here, but it competes with a lot of things. There's tons of area for farming here. There's good water and rock access for the industry. Just everything wants to compete with this land. Knowing that we have invasion, invasion, invasion point does scare me a little, though. It's also not that close to the entry point. Uh, oh, yeah, that's, of course, of course. In such situations, always consider, what can I get off the ground quickly? We're right next to the entry point here. So why don't I just bridge across and have this be... Ooh, ooh, yeah, yeah, actually, I've got something of a great idea. And I could even, correct me if I'm incorrect, use this. One, two, three, four, five marble quarries right here. Yes, 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 yes. This is good. This is very good. Well, it's not half bad. Right, it just came to me in a flash. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right, so what I am going to enjoy here... It's probably a low bridge across to you. Uh, can, we, can we do it a little differently? Something like that? I suppose we could. And I'm going to loop this. Where's the food going to come from? Haven't figured it out yet, but I'm sure I will. Do I want you to go out that far? Depends how long this is. Double clicker, don't let me down now. That's a little too long. I think I'll bring you around here. Little, little extra expensive on the bridges this way, but... We were given such a generous starting fund that I don't mind. I think we'll have you come up like so. So there's going to be a lot of industry and farming and stuff around here. But where are they going to get their people from? And where's that food going to be stored? Could put it right here and then have access for people and stuff around there. That makes a lot of sense. It's kind of reversed from how I would normally do it. Also, I wonder if this would work for the... No, no, I couldn't put the granary there. I need this area for marbling. And I need warehouse. Okay, tons of farming could be done around here. All right, let's not feel pressure to use every square inch of possible arable land. But this is where the granary will go. Actually, better hit that and then do that. That way it's going to not accept food that comes in the future. Hmm, this uh, unfortunately doesn't seem so, but on that note I should make slash finish some maps. It's been a long time since we had a panda map, I think. Right, plenty of... Well, actually, maybe not plenty of space for this, but I can rearrange the road to make more farms here. Good opportunity here as well. Uh, I will want some industry done around here as for access to employees. I think a bunch of them are going to be over here. Dum, dum, da, 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 dum, 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 dum,
Yes. Yeah, it's not going to be easy, but we'll get something in here. He's thinking. Don't worry, he's just thinking. He does a lot of that sometimes. But only sometimes. going to work out? I don't know, but I think it will. So I'll have my vast majority of my people living around here, industry and food here, services of which they won't need many will come in around here. Again, the river is just getting in the way of a lot of stuff, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, what about watering my plebes? It can actually be done relatively sanely from here. But that doesn't cover as many as I would like. And this gets in the way of a lot of stuff. And putting it there just is inviting it to be destroyed by invasion. There's a lot of reasons I don't like building you there. It might actually just be better to put it down here, even though it blocks a few things. And let's get the people rolling. Do, do, do. Yeah, let's get the initial ones in here, shall we? Uh, oh, right, the road to Rome isn't complete, is it? You need to get over here somehow. Uh, that seems quite sane. I'll put you there. And that way people can come in, go across, la 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 la, come through and leave. Good. And before I forget... Let's go and crush taxes. Something I really need to get around to someday is squeezing out the most out of my wages at the start of the game, because I know I could get away with something like this. But I don't usually do it because it doesn't, it doesn't currently feel worth the effort. But I should be able to figure it out. I'd love it if Julius added city sentiment over here so I don't need to keep menuing to check it. It was great that they added in unemployment, game speed, and the ratings here. Stops you opening up, up the ratings menu all the time. But sentiment is left as one of the things that I still open a ton of and would love. Just would love access to. Right. I'm going to use this as my access to wood. Hopefully. I don't, uh, I don't need it too much. I'm not killing for mergers right now. Really all I need are uh, hobbles. If I get the hobbles, I can get the taxes. Holy smokes, I didn't I wasn't looking for mergers, but that was a lot of good mergers. Great mergers even. Right, let's not fall into the noob traps. Let's make sure that we have our doctor tending to their every ill. Let's make sure that we have Prefect, damn near everywhere, because this is Tent Town, and Tent Town loves to catch fire. One there, one there, one there-ish. Another one here, and you would be fine there as well. And I'm going to shove an engineer here. He should be able to do this loop. He might also do that loop, don't know for sure yet. I'll put an extra, extra engineer there just in case. Hey, Baron. Ah, fake fish. I was drooling at those fishing spots. Yeah, I should know that Palmar wouldn't give us such lovely uh, fishing points. The prefects will slowly kill off the sheep population or just chase them away. Either is fine to me. Heb you what to nakken? Kan niet eens meer een kapsel om krijgen hier. Not complaining about the schlubers yet. How many Koreans could there have possibly been in the Italian peninsula in 217 BC? 
could there have been even one? Right, starting to get that unemployment, so I need to start thinking about what to do with it. I do want to get my farming going immediately. Immediately. Where, oh, where do we start that, though? I've got a space for a couple of them over here. And it should actually still give me access to doing some clay fishing. Uh, that did not work out as I had wanted. Don't worry about it though. Worrying is not for me. Let's just move that back a bit. Like I said, I just want to start out getting some food going. Going and growing. Something like that should be alright for now. Feeling any better? Does the light is Caesar shine the virus? I'm doing fine. Well, I'm feeling fine. Probably not sounding great, but when am I ever? Right, they'll be hard pressed not to run into my labour. Here, uh, no indication of attacks on their way yet, which is fantastic. Gives me an opportunity to just start out our economy. I'd like to get the marble flowing. Yeah, it's going to use the fewest workers, and it takes a while to get going anyway. It's a little awkwardly placed here anyway, isn't it? So let's just slam it down and get it working. I'm going to give it an additional prefecture over here, mostly because it's on a dead end. Immediately they're complaining about... Hang on, that wasn't unemployment, was it? No, it's... It's distant battle. Yes, yeah, so the enemies of Rome are on their way. I'm going to need to not dally on my defences. I hope they don't attack here immediately, because this is going right into my population centre. Which is not what I want. I know, surprising, but it's not. As soon as I get these people fed, there's going to be a ton of space to, to have people move in. But that's not right now, is it? Dun -dun -dun -dun. I can have. Uh, I can use this actually for cutting up wood. How much wood exporting can I do? Mm. Three. Three timber yards worth one, two, three. I can get them here. One, two, three. Yeah, I don't love that, but I could like I could learn to like it. All right, so we'll have that there. Okay, good. slam the warehouse over here. That means I don't need to worry about these bits of wood. Hey, we also have extra rock if we, for some reason, needed it. I'm not thrilled about this location because it's chewing into good farming land. But I do need these. I think I'm actually just have one of them over here. I'll have it flush against here, there's no good reason not to. And then you can take... I don't even know what, but you are going to take the marble. Da -da -dun, da -da -dun. We'll get that sold as soon as possible. And then, wow, we have, we have unemployment already. Let's get working on those timber yards. One, two, and I will want my third at some point. So where's my timber industry going to be? I haven't left myself with a ton of space for it, and I wanted to use this for other stuff, but probably gonna have to use it for my furniture workshops. And where's the pottery workshops going to be? Yeah, I've got less space here than I'd imagined. Well, I'll live.
How much pottery exporting could I be doing? One... Very limited, only two... Only two, clue, uh, two clay pits worth. Well, I know I can put them there and there, so why not do so? Once that starts flowing, we'll get it out. Uh, we already have the marble up and on the go, so I should open up one of the trade routes that I plan on using. Massilia, Lutetia, start with Massilia, and we'll say we export all of our marble. Ooh. Where do they drink from? Right now, they just have to go down to the river and drink there. There are no mar uh, there are no fountains yet, but there will be very soon. I should have kept two of those for religious coverage. I'll do that momentarily. Right. Right, right, right. I don't like watering my people before I get all my mergers in. But I'm going to have to already, I think. Here and here and here and here. Hopefully my stuff reaches to all these places. There we go, see how you like that. Now they're not gonna like it because the desirability around here is extremely rough. But I'll probably end up using oracles to help with that. Actually, to that effect, maybe I should... Eh, yeah, we'll hold off on... I want to export all of the stuff I can right now for the for the money on the first year. Because I want to make use of the first year's quotas before they start changing. And they probably will change, it's a Palmar map. But yes, desirability I will probably take care of using oracles, because I can't use plaza. Normally I would use plaza. Furniture workshops. They will not be popular around here, that much is for certain. But I can't think where else I would put them. Space is at a premium, but I've done this to myself. I don't know why I chose to back myself into a corner like I did here, but I did. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have the unemployment for it, so let's not worry too much about it. And then... Pottery. One, two, three, four. I mean, that's not great. I could put a farm here, but I might do with that. And I will need those extra farms real soon. If those birds could sod off. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, that'll feed about 1,800 people. And that should be fine for what we end up with here. Alright, Groovy. Bye-bye, my marble. Hello, my money. Alright, Caesar's not even going to complain about how quickly we work through our dosh at this rate. I like it. It's unusual, but I like it. I also would like my marketplaces to start stocking up on food. Marketplace, marketplace, I'm leaving access to here. One more market, nah, two should be fine, they're only getting food. And the marketplaces should do this loop no problem. Otherwise my wheat farms are gonna lay fallow. Ah, it's Governor Julio. Another particularly great Caesar three player. Seems a-okay. I realize I haven't given a place to drop a whole of our trade goods, so I will take the furniture and the pottery here. Probably temporary. I really need to start building that army, though. Carthaginians are no joke. I'm 
also really need to give these people some desirability. Um, one oracle here should give plenty for them. And maybe another one over here. Let's see how this works out. I mean, they're expensive, but not crushingly so. just what we're looking for and we're clearing out the granaries so these people will be fed in no time and if they're fed that means they're gonna get taxed as well I need a single large um, temple around here as well though and this is going to vastly increase the capacity for people uh, once I get that large temple Thinking about it, I might put it around here. Mm. I don't know. Is it reasonable to put one in and around here? No, I might kind of put it out of the way. Just want to check and see that nothing is about to fall down and nothing is getting a little too fiery. No, it looks like we've got things covered rather well. Speed the game up a touch. There we go. Get that music change in. And if you don't mind, rather than sell that, I do need to use that to probably praise. Well, it doesn't matter. We won't get any blessings out of any of them, so let's just say that Ceres is an alright god. I really need to start selling this. Why haven't I opened up my trade route? Ooh, might be shooting myself in the foot here. Well, I don't want Caesar to get mad, but I also don't want to die, so... Oh, well, there's part of the problem. We could be selling that furniture already. Didn't realize that uh, Massilia also had the furniture part there. They're going to go and buy this furniture, though, and that will give me the money. Da -da 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 to open up another trade route to sell the pottery. So let's open Letitia and do exactly that. So bye bye po oh god don't import it bye bye pottery furniture and marble and the main other thing I wish to sell hey I can sell oil to Mediolanum that's pretty cool but I want Mediolanum's iron to sell uh, weapons to Narbo and of course to have weapons but I suppose the most important thing I need to do right now is get myself uh, an army. And I suppose tax the people that I have, so I set up a forum here and hope that he goes and registers everybody for taxation. Unfortunately, desirability isn't quite high enough even with all of this. I mean you you hate where you live. Fortunately, we can use the power of the large statue. Actually, that's not it. It's that you don't have water. And here, I thought you were actually covered. There you go. There, have some water. Uh, what was that? Oh, okay. Massilia already doesn't want my marble. Well, hmm. It's going to put a bit of a financial itch on us, but we cannot let up. I still need to proceed forward. And part of that is going to be... Having the barracks, which I might just stick here. It's not a very desirable neighbor, so I would quite like to have it a little bit out of the way. It shouldn't interfere with walkers too much if it's here. And it shouldn't have too much difficulty getting labor access either. There you go, it's not an expensive thing to move around. I'm going to start making some javelins, because at least we don't need manufactured weapons for them. Now the big question on this map is where do you put your military? With such a high population, I need to build pretty much everywhere. We're on the time limit, so I can't dawdle. Let's see, there's definitely going to be towers for defense here, and a choke point here. This is a significant problem, but with enough walls, I could delay enemies quite a long while here, and shoot them from above. So that's not a huge deal. 
this could be choked off with a lot of balls, allowing for a lot of time, but not allowing me to build here reasonably. I, I can't shake the fact that I want my army in the center here. You know, the best place for farming and building. I could have... Well, one thing to consider is that the javelins are very fast. You could have them pretty much anywhere and they will respond in good time. Christ, there is no good space for you, is there? I'm not sure I'll ever reasonably build up here. God, I just really want them central, and this is a good building area. I put it? These things are huge. And the map is so awkward. And with so many different places to defend. I think I could start out by having one relatively guilt-free up here. Ah, oh, you're in the way. You're in the way. Go away. <laughs> there we go. You can encourage them to move by building something underneath them. There we go. Kind of glad I gave myself a, a route up to here. So our initial javelins will go there. I will start military training them later on. Also, they can clear up a sheep problem in due time. Let's try and get all these people up to hobble. Hobbles pay taxes. Hobbles pay reasonable taxes, actually. Do not look down on the rate of money you can get from hobbles. Ah, uh, okay. Very early point to stop wine. Maliciously early, even. I'm just going to put a few things here and there just to spruce everybody up to. Oh, Christ, I'm spending a bit of that money. Perhaps a bit too much of that money. So what I need to do is start getting that tax going. I'm going to go all the way up to 14%. Well, unemployment's a little too high for that. Mm. I'll go a little buff on the wages and hopefully make up for it. Okay, this is really sad. Oh, there we go. I was wondering why the priest wasn't walking that way, but they do now. Good, get those evolutions going. They're still not coming here, though. Good, good, good. And they're stocking up on food, it's no big deal, but I'm sure things will be okay. There we go, on comes the food. Oh, wow, okay, the trade is uh, murking hard and fast. Hmm. Yeah, Masuli will not sell us any wine, and the enemies are on their way. I'm going to make a save here. Alpine Valley Stream 01. I don't want to have to repeat the startup if everything goes pear-shaped. <coughs> Did I only build three pottery workshops? I'm only counting three. Pottery. No, I've got four. I just can't see the fourth. One, two... Ah, here it is. All is well. Pay me my taxes, pretty please. You're being a pain. You're also being a pain. It's because my priest is being a pain. I don't want to build a second one of these because they're big and expensive, but if I must, I must. He just doesn't like doing the loop, does he? Oh, far from it. Well, here you go, Mars. Since we're going to need to fight the enemies of Rome. Alright, well, at least the money situation doesn't look too bad, so I can happily slap down my Milty Academy. I say happily, but uh, knowing where to put this thing can be a bother. I think I'll just slap it here. This area will probably be kept operational for quite a long time, and it should be relatively safe. But I absolutely want my troops militarily trained. 
OMG, more Caesar 3 content, yay, says Redborg. Well, I do love Caesar 3, I doubt I will stop playing it anytime soon. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Mm. Trying to think of a way to boost the desirability here, it's a little too small for a large statue. I think the obvious thing to do is to destroy you and replace your old home with a garden, and they will like that, and all will be okay. These people hate where they live, though. You know what, how about we have less whining and more oracles. Everybody loves oracles. Oh, well. Everybody loves medium statues. Now please pay me taxes. Oh, we're getting a little bit of taxes in. The people do not like my high unemployment, though. I'm gonna lower the taxes to a bit more reasonable level for now. Ah, this guy really hates it. Probably for the better that I can't understand a word he's saying. That furniture's starting to pile up though. It doesn't fill me with uh fill me with confidence. We've got our troops militarily trained now, which is very good. The money is okay, but the exports will likely keep drying up. I'm sorely tempted to sell that oil. The price hasn't crashed, has it? No, the oil seems to be quite reasonable. Same with the weapons, and I know I need those weapons. The clever thing to do is to start a weapon industry. Your need for furniture went down, didn't it? Good, I hope it doesn't bounce right back up, but... I'm going to annihilate that. I'm going to put in a warehouse here. I already regret putting the warehouse there. Already regret it too much, it's not going there. I guess it can go here instead. Still don't like that because of the road connection point there. Can we make do with that? I think we can, because what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to purge this bit of road. And you. And then we're going to have this, and anybody no longer watered. Which pretty much just you losers. Can be watered from here. Your sole job is going to be iron and weapons. Buy in that iron. Export excess of weapons. Ugh, you're miles away from there, though, which is a problem. Mm, that is a considerable problem, actually. Mm, do, 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 do. Can't believe I didn't consider the fact that you need to go there. Um, Also, the food... Wow, okay, I've got more population than uh, I'm able to take care of with this food. I am making myself a laundry list of problems today. But that's okay. If there's one thing I can overcome, it's problems in Caesar 3. I just need to dream up a way out of this problem. Right. I'm going to put my farm over here. And I'm also going to remove this farm and remove you. I'm going to have a farm here which is almost definitely going to be inefficient. Put you here. Put you here. You accept weapons and you accept oil. You accept olives and uh, iron. Weapon workshops. One. Two, and these are going to be unpleasant for people living, uh, living near them. How are the marble exports? Okay, Massilia doesn't buy marble anymore. Lutetia only buys 13. So I'm actually going to get rid of you in favor of another weapon workshop. Okay. This should be fine-ish. 
We're gonna set ourselves to import some iron. <laughs> Anybody play Caesar 1? I think Caesar 1 is on my punishment game list. A scary proposition. People are pleased with me, but they're not pleased with that massive unemployment. I need to start draining that at some point, but I don't know what with. Well, I'm just about in debt. Ah, there we go. The furniture sales are keeping me alive. Do I want to put my other fort up here? I think we're getting to the point where I will already need another fort. <laughs> Feels a bit of a shame to have the javelin so far away though. I've got a bit of a trek to go to react anything over here. Although I could start building my heavy infantry. Heavy infantry are great. But the heavy infantry has to be somewhere... I still haven't figured out the solution, right? Where do I put my heavy infantry? I could tuck them over here. Which is a shame, because this is a good building area. Fantastic building area. And it's safe. Making it a silly place to put the infantry. Maybe I just have to accept that they're going to be in the great farming area? Mm. I think I'll just eat eat this. I don't want to eat the debt though. It would be nice if I could get a single map done without Caesar getting on my case about it. Oh, well there, there we go. That's enough sales to justify it. Legionnaires, there you go. This is your home now. They need a way to get there, of course. And that's going to be... I'll give them that for now. I can't... No, I suppose my, my food production is still too low, isn't it? That or my population is just too high. What I could do at this point is purge the non-mergers. More food for others if I do this. It's a shame because they are paying me honest to god taxes, but sometimes you just gotta go. There we go, now they're only mergers. Lowers the population, so fewer foods being eaten, lower unemployment, but not to the point where it matters yet. There are some inefficiencies in my uh, in my industry setup. I can see it from a mile away, but for now this will be okay. Oh, bollocks! Well, hmm. The initial industry for furniture is now complete wasted space and time. So there's no point even making it anymore. I'm just going to purge the. Uh, I wish I hadn't destroyed that now. Could have at least put it in the front in in the warehouse, but. What I could do is get the oil industry operational. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. And then... Nothing stopping you accepting that oil. So let's make sure that we import the olives for it. Export all oil and export weapons if we end up with more than... Six of them. Okay, now we've got all these mer- oh, I thought I deleted you. How can this be? Have you to Can he a capsule on here? You think you've got problems? This guy's got problems. I've got nowhere to live. Have you I've been thrown out of my own. I wonder if Nicky turned on his tinnitus machine in the background just for that line. Yuck, I hate it when map makers do that. What, you mean, here's some lucrative trade. Oh, by the way, it's gone by the uh, second year. It would be nice to get some telegraphing of it. We were told that luxury goods uh, 
couldn't be relied on, but I assume that was for import, not export. I've definitely backed myself up into way too much of a corner, but we'll try and make it work anyway. There's the olives coming in. This warehouse guy does not have far to go, so I'm pretty sure he'll be easily able to stock all six of these industries. Well, that's kind of good. I'm going to bring back one of my pottery workshops to alleviate that Roman desire. I really need to be selling my pottery right now. How long has he given me? Two years. Hold on, what was that? I forgot to lower my salary. Ah, crumbs. I set myself down to citizen salary then. And I'm going to give Caesar a Greek manuscript for now. Just try and keep him on my side. How's that heavy in infantry looking? We've got a few. And they're actually academy trained, so they're not going to be terrible. I have the money for it, so I would quite like to set up another <coughs> fort here. Yeah, there you go. That way, if you're ever stuck on uh, weapons, you can create a javelin for me instead. Yes, Vino Paolo, who would have thought we could have Nikki ah, back? Bonjour à vous. Est-ce que je peux vous intéresser à des biens de haute qualité? Nikki, Nikki's delivery is too good. How could we not have it? It's nice to have all of my industry tucked away in the corner though. If I had a warehouse here that needed to buy the goods and over here to sell, the donkeys love to sell you goods first, so they'd first come over here, then come back here to buy stuff, and then maybe you uh, you have space for more to buy, so they might go over here, and then, oh, maybe they have more to sell. They can bounce back and forth a lot. So it's good to keep all of your buying and selling in one place. Yeah, that's my experience, at least. Right. Okay, well, there we go again. There's no selling of weapons. God, no kidding about needing to set, to set up a tax base. At least I have a tax base. People are pleased enough with me, but uh, I'm not going to live just on uh, hovel taxes alone. Fortunately, I already have the pottery set up, so I just need to give these people services. But that, uh, if I want to involve them to pay me more, but I have unemployment problems as well. As in, there is too much unemployment. Well, Defense of the Realm is, comes first, and that's doing okay. I've opened up all my trade routes, haven't I? Kind of disgusted at the prospect of selling food. Also disgusted at the prospect of being put under immediate attack. I am a little afraid that the attack could come from here. Probably the best thing to do is to wall this off a fair bit. I don't know, don't want to wall too close to the entry point. I find that can often lead to uh, them being agitated into attack, but that should slow them down a little bit. And then I can have you guys Pelt, uh, pelt them from here, and then that should buy enough time for the heavy infantry to go here and stand defense. If they attack from here. If they don't, I should be fine with everywhere, anywhere else. Again, assuming they do attack from here, but I think that's almost certain. It just looks like an invasion point. The cruelest thing would be if this was an invasion point. Oh my days. That would be nasty beyond belief, but I'm pretty sure even Palmar can't be that nasty. Pretty sure. Pretty pleased with me. Well, I'm not pleased with the low, low taxes that I make off of them. Still generating a profit, at least, but this isn't 
a brilliant city set up, far from it. This is such an inefficient farm, I should never have put you there. But I needed the extra food, probably. This map looks familiar to someone else. I didn't see it if somebody else streamed this map. Uh, the main problem of evolving these people further is their need for entertainment is rather high. They wanted amphitheater and a theater. But they need actors and gladiators provided to them. Which I of course have not left myself a good amount of space for. Or really any amount of space for. I guess the gladiators could go here. Oh, actually I'd want the amphitheatre there. Actor colony, I need to perp down a gladiator school somewhere. This is actually an ideal place for it. Really ideal place for it. Um, it is a thought. So incredibly tight on space. Such a large map, and I feel so tight on space. That's a good sign. Palmar does make great layouts. I know that sounded like my selection of the word layout was. Uh, Perhaps a little too chosen. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think surely we're doing fine on the food. I, I think I could actually get rid of you. Let's go for um, large and in, uh, small insulae. Uh, pottery. Four workshops working. And Toga Boy needs his batch of it. Oh man, the last thing I need is. To be prowling around for even more industry. I have not afforded myself the space for this. Hmm. It's not to say I don't have ways around this. I should probably be expanding out for it, but I like to think I could keep everything safely tucked away here. No, what am I doing? We don't we don't need it right now. We don't need it, why proceed for it? I will have remove you a little closer to that granary. Oh well, they're tempting me to sell even more vegetables, even though I don't particularly want to sell vegetables for the agonizingly low price that we get for them. I suppose there is a lot of arable land though, isn't there? Oh sweet, we're full of Quakers, right. In that case we are tripling down on our heavy infantry. We're going to have another way for them to move around. And perhaps not a moment too soon. Hmm. Enemies of Rome are at the outskirts of your city, expecting to drop in for an urn or two of wine. Sorry, folks, we don't have wine. Oh, bollocks. Right, well, so much for selling oil. Right, well, I'm going to mass up the oil that I do have, but I'm going to stop the olive imports. Hmm. Do you still sometimes open old Caesar 3 saves just to enjoy looking at your old cities? I absolutely do. I keep them well, well, maybe not well sorted, but I, I put DDR Jake in them so I know all the ones that I've done. And then usually I'll put Eternal or Complete when I know that they are Eternalized. And sometimes I just load them up to watch them. Maybe, uh, sometimes I learn from cities that I've already built. Anyway, where are we being attacked from? Interesting. Why over there? I do not know, but it shouldn't be too hard to obliterate these guys. They can only come in this way. I want every stick thrown at them, so let's go. There'll be no immigrants during this time. Oh, whoa, whoa, they are immediately moving. Fall back. I did not expect that. Also, holy crap, we got elephants already. Right. Go there.
This is bad. This is really freaking bad. Wow, that, that's, that's a powerful early attack. Fortunately, their regular infantry is a bit crap. Get back, get back. And do not let those elephants engage you. Elephants are good or bad at engaging in, uh, in forest. Oh crap! Uh, that that's that's a bit of a jerk move. Trade completely dried up for furniture, so of course I got rid of my furniture. But then Caesar goes, "Oh, by the way, I need your furniture, so you need to rebuild your furniture." All the while, I'm getting trampled by elephants. Okay. Oh, you guys are going to get mulched there without backup. Alright, have at. This should put an end to them. Whew! Wow, that was a hefty early attack. Quite a lot of Carthaginian foot soldiers and elephants. Yikes. Okay, well, hey, we made it. Right, so Caesar's being a big old meanie pants. Let's deal with him, shall we? I need to stockpile my pottery. And I also need to stockpile furniture. But I also need to accept the fact that I don't have any furniture to stockpile for him. And he gave me how long to get in the furniture? A year? Jesus, that's cruel. Uh, okay. Mid attack as well. Okay. Um. Um, 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 um. Temporary agreement for that one then. This will chew up the unemployment. Yeah, I need this space anyway, might as well open it up. I'm in disbelief at that. One, two, three. Forget that one. Bring it in a bit. Three, four, five. Maybe six. Furniture workshops. One, two. Three, four, five. Prefect. There we go. Just get in there as soon as possible, please, and get me that furniture which I desperately need. The guy that I desperately need to start ignoring. There you go. Right, so significant financial pressure has been put on me now, then. What can I even still export? Not, not why, uh, not oil, not IKEA, not marble, not weapons. Just a little bit of marble and pottery, and I've filled up my export quota so far for this year. Hmm. You're going to accept wheat as well, and I'm going to export wheat. Even though the price is low, I need to I need to make some money. Hmm. You 
got through those funds quickly. Try to make these new funds last longer. Can we safely assume that the military threats are strong enough not to brush them aside with if you don't make them strong, don't have them in the first place in that review statement? I suppose so. That was uh, surprisingly strong, though. Carthaginians are very, uh, very tough. My governor's thick money grows on trees. Toga boy's very, very unhappy, and uh, it's right at the turn of the year, so he's about to be even less happy. Gonna lose a bunch of favor for this, unfortunately. I could sell enough wheat to make it all come together. Ah, I don't know why I was so angry with this route. They don't have anything to buy, or they don't have anything to buy. Map's so big it takes a while for the traders to make their way through, so I don't think they're going to be miraculously saving me with wheat exports. They're trying, though. Oh lordy, they're trying, but they're not trying hard enough. Oh god, man, Caesar's demands are ridiculous. No, no, I just lost a chunk of favor if you told that. This is so much furniture that he needs in very little time. I don't think I'm going to be able to make his demands. However, I can give him the paltry, keep him off my back slightly. Give him some Persian carpet as well. And the back in the black. Just to the new, uh, the new year's trade um, quotas, though. All right, come on, let's get that IKEA flowing. Heavens knows I need it. Rome is happy. Our army is being rebuilt. We do have another attack coming in, and another other attack coming in. This is tougher on the finances than I would have thought. Again, I, I was once told, you know, how can you say that lots of early starting money can make for a difficult challenge? Well, here you go. Trade is dried up. It's difficult to tax these guys meaningfully. And it's not looking great for us. Now, I'm probably just going to get rid of the oil workshop. Actually, the low, um, the low unemployment makes me want to increase taxes a fair bit, so I will. that wheat. Get it out of my system. Four months, eleven needed. Can we even produce that? I'm trying. I'm trying real hard, Caesar. Months, 15, come on, you slow buggers. Two months, 17, 18, 19, 20. Come on. One more of you. Oh god, what's happening? Enemies closing, enemies at the door. Now, one of these days we're going to make Palmar play his own bleeding maps. Right, I don't need to stockpile my, for, uh, my pottery, so let's get that stuff sold, shall we? I can't even do exports of you, so we'll just say not trading on the furniture. Where the heck? Oh, there it is. You're my, you're my savior. There we go, and just in time. Phew! It's gonna. <laughs> It's going to make our favor higher than uh, the start of the map. Nice. I'll still probably let this pile up with furniture in case Caesar makes another outrageous demand for it. I'll skin off my nose after all. 
That's okay. I thought it was too undesirable to um, evolve those, but there you go. People are very pleased with me. People are paying me minuscule amounts of tax as well. And there's a lot of things I'd like to build, but money is the problem. I need to have everything focused towards making more money, but we're not making that through trade, no siree. Yeah, I, am. I worry greatly about the day that the... Oh, whoa, whoa, when did that paw tree disappear? Ah, uh, okay, so the only exports we reasonably have is a minuscule amount of um, marble. I might be choked out economically from the get-go here. Hmm. Well, I could elevate these into... Uh, Small insulin and tax their togas off, as the saying goes. And lacking other ideas, I'm going to work my way towards that right now. Gladiator school. Actor colony. Amphitheater. Theater. Looking for a spot for a library, and I just saw one. What else are they going to need? A bathhouse. Mm. Just want to make sure they're all registered for equal taxation. Looks like it. Bathhouse, bathhouse, bathhouse. If I were a scrawny little bathhouse, where would I be going? I should probably delete one of these things for a bathhouse. No, no, that's a lame way of looking at it. Ah, uh, no, you wouldn't be able to infect things in here. Hmm. Ah, what I could do is look at religion. Hey, they all have access to Ceres and Mars. So what I actually could do is delete Mars and build the bathhouse here. Oh, right, yeah, that's outside of the range of the water. But that's one of the easier things to fix. Here's a fresh new reservoir, and here is your dedicated ba dedicated bathhouse for it. Doesn't matter where you place the bath, it won't work anyway. Yeah, the bathhouses hate me, but maybe we can make it work. You hate where you live, don't you? Here's some pity gardens. Here's some more pity gardens. This is all to squeeze out as much uh, rent as I can out of them. Yeah, I'm sure you won't forget anything. Don't take furniture there. Oh wow, there was a lot of Imperial favor with those early requests. But that also means that he would have hated me a ton for not delivering them as well. He's a fickle guy, is Toga Boy. Love to see that I have an actual army though. The main thing I need to do right now is stabilize my economy though. The economy is tanking. Spruce up a bit. This is what I need. Small insulate. Small insulate is the building of my dreams. At least I can build all the um, oracles that I want or need for them, but. Librarian actually comes up the back here. 
He's failing to do so miserably right now. I'll give it a little bit, see where he walks before I start destroying places. Ah, there we go, just where I need you to go. Now please complete the loop. Ha. My governor's think money grows on trees. That's not a problem. I made it to the end of the year whilst staying fiscally afloat. Starting the new year fiscally not hydrated is very different. I don't want to actually complete this with the garden, so I'm going to put a small statue right there, just to just to block walkers from using this in a way that I don't want them to. Same here. Walkers can use gardens in certain situations. It's a little difficult to explain, mostly because I... Ah, crap. Joke's on you, you just stole some debt I had with Caesar. But that does tell me that unemployment is growing to the point of making people very unhappy. And I did not raise my wages enough to compensate. But I have a glorious plan. Which may not work, but let's hope that it does. Can I make you just slightly more desirable? Yes, I can. And then there's just you two. I don't mean the band. Mm. It's so close, and I don't want to purge one of you for it, but it's clearly affecting a bunch of people, so... Yeah, you, you just gotta go, my friend. Say hello to Oracle Bill. That'll make all of these evolve nicely. Uh, oh, you guys are in a different story altogether, but... I think we can't solve with loads of gardens, right? Damn right. So now everything here is glorious small insulate. And now I just need to crush my unemployment and tax their togas off. Fortunately, I can do exactly that. Just need to find a relatively safe area. And this place is entirely safe, so... I'm gonna make use of this. Probably needs walker access, so I'll give it to them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. With road access. This is my favorite use of, um, of mission posts. And there we go. Unemployment is... I think I'll probably want two more of them. There we go. That takes care of our unemployment issues. And now I can tax them to hell and back. These two guys will complain bitterly, but that's their problem. I'm just going to replace this to be uh, wheat only. Can I sneak down another sneaky wee wheat farm? Can and will. Okay, great. Now hopefully I can dig myself out of debt right now, because if I cannot, then this map is going to fall into uh, oblivion for me. Oh, of course inflation is on, and the imported olives are going to cost even more as well. Alright. Yeah, crikey, I remember when tax uh, trades were about six grand, and now it is not. Okay. That is more people than I think I can feed as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. May or may not be efficient. Definite inefficiencies on this one. But we'll go we'll go for as long as the food can hold. I need to dig myself out of debt, make sure my defenses are okay, build up a surplus and expand the city with a surplus. That's what I need to do right now. Oh, smeg off, Caesar! <laughs> <laughs> Where am I meant to get you 15 weapons from? I have to put up a defense. Again, one year. Holy crapola. That's ridiculously short, uh, short amount of time. Especially on something that I need to produce using um, imports. 
That would be impossible to fulfill if you... Okay, maybe not impossible. It would be outrageously difficult to fulfill if you hadn't already started production of weapons. But, you know, good luck dealing with the early attacks without them. Do, 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 do. Right, more weapon production needed. The 2000 population one's your favourite one, McCain? I like it, but I have a very soft spot for the sub-1000 population theme. It really tells me, okay, Jake, you're in the happy zone now. Uh, inflation is not the happy zone. Goddamn central banks of Roma. I even have space for all those weapons over here. Mm, no. No, I do not. And I can't get rid of this oil anymore because no one buys my bloody oil. Oh, God! <laughs> Christ. Okay, so the attacks are coming, that much is for sure. Any extra space for the weapons over here? Keep Toga Boy off my back. Uh, let's, let's give him some glassware. Best wedding present here. Some glasses I bought at IKEA for you. And when my mate got married, I uh, I think I gave him a hundred pound Steam gift card, and uh, the letter said to the to the bride and groom. Well, the the envelope said to the bride and groom, but really mostly the groom. And then inside I wrote, yeah, I think it's normal to give people like pots and pans and crap like that, but here here's something that'll get some actual use. And he seemed to enjoy it. I'm not sure his wife did. Oh boy. Okay, well at least that's in a pretty good place for us. That's two out of two for good invasion points. But the, it's not always the invasion point itself which matters. What really can matter is what the map maker has set the attackers to do. Because you can give them attack priorities. And sometimes they'll just beeline for your tax base and destroy it, and you'll be left feeling very, very sad. People are indifferent. That's not very good. I'm going to set taxes to 4% for a very short while. Alright, at least now I have an actual amount of units that should be able to crush Carthaginian infantry. Yeah, they're not going to get through this. The elephants are going to make some damage, but as long as I clear out the faster infantry first, then the elephants will not be able to penetrate. Dunzo. Alright, that was a pretty good repelling. Gonna wait for the people to be, well, very pleased is pleased enough. I need that money desperately. Oh, Jesus, where'd my money go? The food situation is a little dire. Yes, yes it is. I can't feed all these people. What I'll probably do is just pick off any tents that I end up with. It would be nicer if I could just build more farming here. You know, supplement it. I could have this spill out to another housing area here. Expand the tax base, but that's going to require some city funds. Mm. And if these market ladies can't get food, they're going to run into problem sourcing pottery because they're going to spend their time fighting over tiny scraps of grain. In short, it's not good. I would just expand this rapidly if I had the money, but I don't have the money. Could go into debt over it. It's not the worst idea. No, keeping my tax base operational is a high priority. I'm actually going to not go into ultra debt, but I will go into pity debt. Pity is in small, not... Uh, 
pity is in, I feel pity for you. Ah, oh, man, planning the layout of farms is... Mm, one of the harder things to do. In my humble opinion. It's hard for me to have a humble opinion in this game. I know this game like the back of my arm. But... Hopefully this will do you. I do not enjoy the temporary aspect of this any more than you do. And you probably hate it. Caesar, I know. I am the Antichrist. What was that again? The old mixture of disgust and content we call pity. I put a line like that into EU4 at one point. I think it was on the uh, uh, the insults thing. I wrote quite a few of those. I remember some feedback internally being like, Jesus Christ, Jake, is this all right? And I'm pretty sure I said, ah, people will be fine with it. And I don't recall any complaints. Alright, there we go. That seems to have alleviated food issues. How do people feel? Oh, right, I, I have employment issues again. Probably going to chip away at this more than anything because it's in the way and it doesn't serve much purpose. Ooh, I would love to be able to farm some more using this if any of it is farm worthy. Well, of course, I put the. I, I put everything here in just the worst possible place, but we'll live with it. Can I get Caesar's weapons yet? Almost! Oh, I can't believe I managed to score that. Are you actually taking the weapons? Because I need those weapons. Like, yesterday. Scathing insults, truly the best addition to EU4 over the patches. What was the thinking behind that again? There's a bit of a discussion about um, flavor and mechanics. I'm always a bigger, bigger fan of um, mechanics over flavor, although both are important. I wanted to mix the two. I don't know, that stuff was years ago. It's getting pretty hard to believe that I ever worked there to begin with. Right, no need to stockpile our weapons anymore. We need to pump them into our legions. Ugh, I lost favor for being in debt at the turn of the year again. But our people are pleased enough with me to pay my exuberant taxes. And as long as those taxes can keep flowing, we can slightly grow our city and build a bigger tax base and yada yada should be okay from there. Market leaders are having a hard time reaching you, but I'm sure that'll be solved. It's a little bit of a trek for the market ladies to get the wheat more than I'd normally like to have, but... hey ho! There we go. Caesar got me a lot of favour over those weapons. Yo, I'm gonna play your shore as well. Every so often when I'm walking around, I just make that noise. Eeyaw. Eeyaw. Thinking about that. Hey, I was all around. Don't leave this gun good here. That's yeah, good to hear people saying nice things about my city for a change. <laughs> Even the Frenchman. Ué, mas parece até que você não precisa de mim. Essas construções estão uma beleza. Muito bem cuidadas. Beleza, indeed. He just doesn't stop talking, does our Brelix. Right, well, certainly glad we solved the food issue. And the money issue is actually looking not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, okay, well, imports of iron went up and we... Heavens knows we need iron. I think I'm going to go with four and two. I was thinking three and three. Three heavy infantry, three uh, javelins. But no, I'm going to go four and two. Because... Well, I don't really have a good, good explanation why, but... 
I want to. I'll put you here. God, I've already chewed up so much of this good land, but all of this can be used for farming, apart from like one square here. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah. Two, three. Okay. Pretty great for a long stretch of farming right here. Into something here that will feed a population center. By the way, can I even get three types of food? There was something about uh, meat earlier. Okay, I can buy a scrap of meat. I hadn't actually considered what our limit on patricians are, but... Uh, assuming I can still import the olives at those inflated prices, can I buy... Okay, right, two types of wine are available. We're limited pretty much to... Yeah. At best, I'm pretty sure I could squeeze out a medium palace, but I'll probably have to make two for grand villas. The problem is entertainment. Without the hippodrome, you have a severely limited amount of uh, entertainment points that you can get. Ah, bonne journée à vous. Est-ce que je peux vous intéresser à des biens de haute qualité? I'm actually surprised that wheat was kept at 20. With so much wheat that I can ship, I can actually make all right-ish money off of it. It's not great, but at least it's something. Supplements the tax income rather nicely as well. Was this a community mod again, Jake? The voice pack? Yes, yes it is. These are none of the voices are vanilla except for Caesar himself. Where am I putting these legionaries? If this is so good for farming, then where in the world do you go? Maybe I can just go back on what I said immediately and put the Put some more stick throwers up here. Because I can respond quite rapidly and I will probably be doing a lot of attacks from a distance. Thing is though, four is the magic number for ground troops because they can bunch up four in, four in the line. They're kind of like uh, hoplites from Dominions. You can pack a lot into a square, making them ultra good at fighting. I don't actually think I'm going to use this much for anything, so having having you here wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Yeah, there we go then. Okay, there we go. If I can get that operational as my army, I definitely want to expand my, uh, my defenses, though I don't mind chewing up a lot of unemployment with defenses, because those Carthaginian menace are going to do me in if I do not. Curiously, can you actually get here? Good, 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 good. That I wanted to see. Doo -doo. Enemies closing, of course they are. Wait, what about the other one? Oh yeah, there's still enemies at the door. I would like towers around here. But the thing is, towers are very expensive to mass. I would like to just continue amassing money first. Of course, Caesar takes a big bite out of my money every year if I make a profit. But that's just something you got to live with. All in all, though, I've actually come through a pretty dire start quite well. I don't want to pat myself on the back too hard, but I will anyway. Got to make sure that my unemployment remains under 5%. Otherwise, people start thinking that I'm not such a benevolent governor after all. Ooh, that was a bit much. That's fine, though. We can pick away from you a bit. Oh, I don't even make vegetables, Caesar. And he has given me one month. Uh, not one month. One year. Again to see to his outrageous demands. And because there's an attack, there are, uh, I can't set up a designated area for this, because there aren't people to deal with it. 
Alright, one year. Uh, one of these does like four and a bit. Um, okay. You take vegetables. You no longer produce vegetables. It would be nice if you could just look with a flick of the switch or something. Change out what kind of goods these have. The enemies are attacking from there. Well then, in a way that's good. In a way that might even be considered very good. Smirna, hurra, smirna, hurra. So long since we've gotten Dr. Aftish's lines in, and I still like them a lot. Can't imagine that. You're practically yelling at the ground to make it produce enough vegetables just to keep Caesar happy. There's a line about Caesar wanting his legions back. Can we make it humorous with regards to uh, Caesar wanting his, I don't know, lettuces or some other vegetables back? Right. Go and harass. And fall back. And fall back. Good. That's a little too far. That's fine, that guy knows what he's in for. Gotta hand it to the uh, the strong arm of the Roman man able to throw a pila up these hills. I guess they were just made of firmer stuff back then. Alright, ready for engagement. Harassment tactics are great like that. I consider myself a bit of a, a Fabius, if you will. There we go. Maybe Palmar expected me to be more destroyed by the attacks, because they're not ramping up much. But every time I say something like that, the attacks ramp up ridiculously, so... Let's make our safety save. And, uh... Consider the fact that I do still have a bit of employment issues. Scaling back my completely useless, um, Furniture infrastructure. It's not used for anything right now. Why do I feel like my money's just not going up? What did I burn my money on lately? Thank God for taxes, though. Never, ever underestimate the power of small insulae. They are so good. They are the strongest plebeian housing. They pay ridiculous amounts of taxes, and all they ask for is pottery, food, and quite a bit of entertainment. Mm. But if you already have a hippodrome in your city, an active hippodrome that is, so make sure it has at least one staff member in it, then you don't even need to give their theatre and amphitheatre actors or gladiators. They're happy to just sit in uh, amateur performances, which might even make for better gladiatorial fights. Kind of saddened to have been born beyond the days of blood sports. Right, how much is Caesar going to demand off of me? Net in and out. He's going to only going to take a few hundred in tribute. Jesus, though. Now he took 350 off of me. Construction, wages, imports. I'm not making as much taxation money as I would like. But I know why. I just need more, more of a tax base. Yeah, I think English Caesar is my favourite. But maybe that's maybe that's bias, right? I don't know the other languages that he was speaking in. Nobody stepped forward to do a Japanese or uh, or Scottish Caesar voice. Right. There we go. Hopefully he never asks for vegetables again, because I don't intend on actually. Maybe I'll let this fill up with vegetables, just in case he does that again. So far, Caesar's always asked for different things. I suspect he's going to ask for oil next. 
that is one of the main reasons that I filled this thing up with oil. It's frustrating because it's getting in the way of the throughput of weapons. Only if I need to stockpile them though. But I have a funny feeling he's going to ask for oil. He's a monster like that after all. Always fill in that void, do your own version. Uh, it's a little more difficult to, to redo the voices for the videos though. I suppose I'd have to figure out how. It's not a bad thing. Expand that disastrous skill set of mine. God, my army isn't disastrous though. It's so good. Really strong. My main issue is that my wages... Uh, or my income is just not keeping up. I need another tax base. Basically another batch of these. At least the production of pottery is high enough that it could support another area, I think. think erroneously actually. Actually there's very little stop me tearing this down and making this my second tax base. It's safe, there's lots of arable land. Uh, I could still just feed into that and then share it with you. I could make, even expand the existing industries with it. Yeah, yeah, actually this is this is a pretty great idea. I'm known for those. The only issue, I suppose, is that this would be a great place to pelt invaders with towers, but probably better just to use it as a completely safe area to expand with. Once I have both of these, I'm going to consider patricians. There is a question why not consider patricians now, but I don't have stable uh, oil production and my... Uh, the less said about my furniture production, the better, probably. That means I'm saying goodbye to this plan. Um, I don't think Caesar's going to demand vegetables off of me again. Probably means I should just purge this altogether. Enemies are not at the door, so I do have a bit of leeway. So yeah, I think I'll just purge this and consider how I'm going to build it differently now. I would actually quite like to do this. Get off of there. Because that allows me to use this area here for 2x2. Two two. Don't know what it'll be, but I'll figure it out in due time. Now, only two grand to set up a functional plebeian area. Yeah, it can be done. This little bit of raised land is just here to ugh, me when building up a, a pleb area, but that's to be expected. Save and save often. The closest to ancient blood sports in modern times is Buhurt. Despite the armor, it can get pretty brutal. Hungary should have fans, as well as being a Central European hemisphere. I... okay. International competitions finished for Buhurt last... I, I don't know what you're talking about. Never heard of Buhurt. Right, how's this block even gonna look? I do need farming done here, and living done here. I don't know, Nikki inspire me. I've been thrown out of my own! Not funny enough. I've got nowhere to live! Ah, that's just right. Yeah... There's, there's actually a surprisingly precious little amount of this could be used. One, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, how about we do something like yonder? Anything more, and it won't be able to get there efficiently, I think. But I may as well leave myself open to the idea of it. There's also the idea that you don't need to use that granary. We could have our own dedicated granary over here. It wouldn't be a big deal. Uh, but I've had nasty things happen with that before, which I've yet to be able to understand fully. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Eh, you know what, we can, we can go extra further. Eight and nine. 
So they'll go into there, but I also want them to... to a block here. Two, space, one, two. A lot of wasted area there, but what can you do? How long is that? Might be a little awkward for some loops, but it should be okay. We could have another tax base here. They can have some services come in from this way if they really want. I don't really want, but could still be done. Yeah, actually this does make a bit of sense to have it just available. And also, we're gonna have a bridge over to here. It's gonna simplify some things like getting warehouses. All right, makes a lot of sense. I'm going to drastically lower my taxes because there's going to be quite a bit of unhappiness while I do this. Because there's going to be uh, tents and things that want to revolt whilst I, whilst I do this. I didn't consider water access as usual. Now yeah, this should be fine if I can get water to you and to about you. That should suffice. And that will have to suffice. We'll bring in everything and then merge or die them. That's the plan. It's expensive and Caesar will be unhappy, but that's what Caesar does. He gets unhappy, he yells at me, and then so, so, and so, so. Think old medieval knights brawling on foot in teams. Mm. Oh wow, that's a pathetically sad merge attempt. Could you save me with that a little bit? I do have my mod that lets me spot non-merger tiles, but I'm not using that currently. As in, I'm not using that information. That was a terrible merge. I would like to not have that. Uh, the debt is going to be a little suffocating. Caesar's not going to be happy with me for a good long while. But I really need this filled up, and I need it to not catch fire as well, so... Anywhere that we have space for them, I'd like some prefects. Whoa! Okay, some of these guys already just want to burn. here, I think. No, no, we're going to leave these people undoctored. i got to lower my uh, my health rating anyway. People are too healthy. It's a genuine problem in Caesar 3. Oh boy, this ultra debt's not going to make me any friends in high Caesar-ish places. i got to dig myself out of it pretty fast. When did I go into debt? May. Ooh, that's pretty bad. Pretty really bad. Right, let's uh, let's do what we can to prepare for taking ourselves out of debt. We're gonna get rid of our non-mergers, prepare them for better things. I want the marketplace is closer to you, but I want to make sure they do the loops as well. That's not an idea that marries itself very well. So I think around here might be the best place for the markets. 
but given it 3x3 three three, it's best for the amphitheatre and the uh, let's see, amphitheatre and the temple so I'll stick one of the marketplaces right here stick another marketplace right here if you don't mind and another one here Go and empty that out and get these people ready to be fed. They will need fed at some point. Well, this is just sad over here, so... If you merge, great. Otherwise, it's going to be a big purge. You elect to not merge, so... Welcome to Purgeville. I mean, you got to go for sure, but... Two, three, one, two, three. Oh, that's good. Just get rid of all of those. I've been thrown out of my own! There we go, we're practically all full up, but uh, I gotta say the mergers don't look good here. Far from it. Right, what can I do about that? <sighs> not great. Um, I will try my luck with you and you. And I'm going to burn you down and try my luck with these guys. You will merge though, I know that much. You do not, but this will. If you didn't want to, you wouldn't merge anyway. Go to you guys, you're all complete failures. Seriously, can we squeeze in one around here? No. I can just put a 3x3 three three there. Alright, that's not a lot of 2x2 two two mergers. I can't count them right now, but... Let's evolve them to uh, people that will pay me taxes. People are only indifferent to me. Oh, right, the unemployment. Ah, yes. Alright. Don't worry, we're going to fix all of these problems real fast. Market places are coming back to food as we speak. Now, let's water our little plebes. That gets a whole bunch of you there. I'm loath to use this wonderful 2x2 two two square just for watering. So I'll put you there to get those two guys. Otherwise that's pretty good. Right to there, so you're the closest one I need to do, so I can do that there for lots and lots of watering. And then it's just the final batch over here. Alright, that should be fine. Uh, oh, of course, oh, of course. That's just outside of watering range. That's a marginal problem. I don't want to get rid of them. Two of these is too nice to throw away. That's not a merger point. That's not a merger point. I really don't want to dumpster these two guys. But I don't have a good way to water them. Well, I mean, that would work like it, but it would work. Eh. There you go. Now, one large temple to be- holy crap, this is a lot more debt than I was planning on taking on. I still haven't set my um, my taxes accordingly. Oh well, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The reason that mission posts are so good for chewing up labour is that they don't burn down, they don't break down, and they don't need access to uh, labour. They actually get global labour uh, labor access, very rare in this game. 
that's still not enough. And we're gonna have more people coming in, so... Even more of them, but man, they, they aren't cheap. A hundred denarii a pop, not cheap. These people need to pay their taxes on the double, so... Forum here, hopefully does the full loop. Your approach to building without roadblocks terrifies me. I've never understood how the game worked in the first place. Yeah, roadblocks are are nice, but they feel like a crutch to me. Maybe that's not fair. I mean, that it is incredibly esoteric how a lot of things work in this game. I wonder if these people are going to need another market. I will give them one just in case. Uh, Caesar is about to flip his lid because I'm so heavily in debt, but as long as I can continue to tax my people half to death, I will be able to see through this. My biggest problem is if I'm still in debt in 12 months' time, I'm going to lose all of my accumulated favour and Caesar's going to attack me. I could repulse two of his attacks, no problem. The big problem is just, I need that favour. And with Hannibal on the march, I could do that in distraction as well. Is Hannibal's brother on the way? No, Hannibal's brother's probably dead by now. 209 AD. Uh, BC. He's definitely dead AD. Right. Let's do some half-hearted attempt to increase, increase desirability here. That includes an oracle here. And an oracle here. And... It's tempting to put an oracle here. Mm, yes, I don't think I need too much space for services. You again. Ah. I want to bring attention back to the original parchment we got from Caesar, where he says, I nearly dented my marble pillar when I heard that you're the one to draw this assignment. Well, I guess he finally got around to it. Ah. Probably not the last we're going to hear of him smashing that goblet, though. I can just imagine if uh, we had some kind of Caesar VTuber, it wouldn't be smash that like button, it'd be smash that goblet. Right, I still need more of you to soak up unemployment. It's kind of ridiculous, right, the amount of these things that I build, but keeping your unemployment low is so important to taxing people to the hilt. And on a map like this, taxation is about the only thing that I have. Exports have almost all dried up. There's just... there just isn't money. But I make do with what I have, which isn't much. No risk of fire. No reasonable risk of collapse, although he's a bit overworked, isn't he? Let's put down another Brazilian. Didn't mean that to sound as disparaging as it, well, as it does. Oh, another Brazilian. I wonder if you'll... Uh, I wonder if this will work. With just the amphitheater and... Uh, uh, with the gladiator school and the other thing over there. Right, you go over here. Let's give them library access. And they will need a bathhouse. For, the, for once in your life, bathhouse worker, walk the way I need you to walk, please. I'm just trying to squeeze all the taxation I can out of these guys as quickly as I can. I need that money. Boy, do I need that money. I need it by next May, or else uh, Susan's going to have my head in a pike. Or on a pila. People are indifferent to me, but indifference still pays taxes, so I'm not too worried. Too many. Uh, that was a little too many. But it's okay, people are coming in anyway. Oh, well, people aren't coming in now because we're under attack. Right next to my newly established area as well. It's okay, I can temporarily deal with the low employment issue by disabling my timber industry and my furniture industry, both of which are superfluous right now. Ah, 
hell did he get through the Alps? <laughs> With one eye. Alright, harassment. Go, go. No, don't focus on the sheep. Focus on the far larger, more leathery sheep. One of the problems about an invasion point so close to the living space is some of these prefects are going to get up and run around here and not protect my city from fire. Well, wow, wow, they actually managed to lay low an elephant. But I can't tell you how little I'm able to take care of your requests right now. Uh, I still need to export that marble badly. I only want 25 of the stuff. Marble is very slow to produce, so that's that's not very nice. We need these guys cleared out ASAP. I need people into my city so that they can pay taxes. Right, they're retreating. Let us fall back as well. The day is won. You know, the thrill of this has been diminished greatly by playing Bannerlord. What a great time it is playing Bannerlord. Oh, my days, the bathhouse lady is actually doing the full loop. I can't believe it. Tings are hurting to find out a bar. Tings are hurtling indeed. I, I really don't have the money. I I have anti-money right now. Where are my taxes? Uh, they are actually paying their taxes, right? Maybe. He kind of looks like he faffs around a bit. I'm gonna... Mm, wanna add another forum, but where? Reform town here. Wait, they're not done? Oh jeez, I don't have time for this. They need to die. Or, well, they need to go. What are they even doing? It's more like they're failing to path than anything else. Come on, just get rid of them. There we go, and since they seem to be such a pain, get rid of the sheep as well. Alright, for the love of God, we have until May for you... Yeah, I'm not getting out of this deck. Caesar's going to attack. Wages as high as they are. <sighs> it's over cringe. I quite like the Russian voiceover for them. Right, since I am definitely just staying in ultra debt and Caesar's going to be cheesed off, I will not give him the marble for now. We will continue to export it. Um, once I'm out of debt, I'll give him that marble. And I'm also going to spend my money bringing these guys up to... Um, up to small insulate, and I'll continue to tax them like crazy, because I, I need it. I need it badly. Gardens are unlikely to have much of an effect on you, but at least enemies can't destroy gardens. Oh wow, that had a better effect than I thought. And I do want my extra forum here, which is also a desirable neighbor, so that's good as well. And then you guys just need more desirability, and that's exactly what this oracle shall do. 
Looking cool, Joker. Good. Good. Still a little bit lacking here, but... Wow, you actually don't like where you live? You're right next to the, the massive temple there. Um, that won't actually affect you, but it will affect you a little bit. Okay. That's largely fine. But uh, here it comes. Better face the music, because it's coming. No more. We have a bit of a problem. He attacks from the entry point. I always think he attacks from not the entry point, but uh, when he comes, he's going to flatten my industry. Uh, it's going to hurt my peace rating, which needs to be excessively high. Although I could, uh, I could assassinate him on the way in. I could do that. I will likely do that. To a Russian, the sound is over cringe as well. You know, it's strange when your brutal Roman officer sounds like a Russian slimy stu- Whoa, I don't think Dr. Aftish wants to hear himself being described as a slimy student. Well, he I know he cringes hearing his own voice on those anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter too much. I know some people hate hearing their own voices heard on this, so let's hear them anyway. Things are hurtling enough Things aren't hurtling enough right now, actually. People are annoyed with me. So I regrettably need to lower my taxes and increase employment. This is hideous. This this looks like it came straight out of uh, Augustus. No disrespect, Augustus, but you know what I mean. It's like Lariat spam. There we go. Ooh, yeah, that, that actually brought it down a little too much, but I think we'll have people come in to fill the gaps soon enough. Well, I hope we do. There's space for them. Short 14 people, huh? And they're all in health and education. It's only marginally my problem in coming to new immigrants. Right. I think my only option is to assassinate the um, the Romans when they arrive, but I will probably delete this. Uh, August, how are we on our exports? I don't know how long it usually takes for him to arrive with his legions. Okay, people are pleased. Pleased means willing to pay my taxation. We'll get his marble as soon as I'm out of debt. <laughs> I don't know when to jump on the attack. Hey Baron, you've been attacked by Caesar a billion times. How long is it between his uh, you will mock Caesar no more and his actual attack? Wrath of the Emperor was in May. Is it 12 months? It's one year. Alright, we'll position ourselves in about March. Aha! Okay, right. Well, I can actually give him this furniture. I can re-enable my furniture industry, what's left of it. And I can stockpile my marble to give to him as well. I do, I do actually really want this marble sent to him as soon as I can. Yeah, favor ain't high, but could be worse. Marginally. There we go. Wow, we got quite a lot of favor for that. 
And if we can just get him his marble as well, we might be okay. From Ultra Debt to Omega Pa, the Jake story. Okay. If you manage 21 favor as they arrive, they'll turn around. Yeah, but I still think this might be a little too close. And I don't want him immediately destroying my stuff. Spare me the Omega Paw. February, I think I'll position myself. Now, it's better to use the column formation. Your troops actually get a boost to their stats using it. But, there's not enough space here to make good use of it. So even though individually they'd be stronger, fewer of them would actually be fighting on the front lines. I'm just going to gimp him the moment he arrives, though. No mercy for the toga. Get back to trading it, and hopefully I won't even have to delete this uh, warehouse, because I don't want to. How do people feel about my tax policy? Very indifferent. Good, I guess. Favor is fine-ish. Indifference is good, but the unemployment is growing too much. 150 or so, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, I'll take care of that. Bonk. Alright, come get some. I hope I don't get attacked by Carthage, they are at the door right now. Officers must be severely questioning my methods here. Current tax rate is maximum. And there we go, 12 months to the day. He's not immediately turning around for my favor. He does want to arrive on the map first, but we will not give him the opportunity. Oh, wow, he does. Cool. New orders have arrived. The Emperor has had a change of heart. Yeah, he's seen the defense I've put up and just thought, we'll forgive him. You know, I did spring on several... 12 month notice demands. There we go, I think they're sent away, so everybody come on back. So, despite going into ultra debt, we've come back out and we're pretty good for it. And the favor is almost as high as it was before. And that was important because it allowed me to use the debt to build up something that's a very good tax base. Look at that! Ten grand in taxes last year. I think we've got this map now. Well, it depends. You know, Palmar might have a surprise for me. I just hope he does not. I'm surprised he hasn't demanded this oil off of me yet. Phew. Thank you, Baron. See, it, man, I, I love seeing Baron play Caesar 3. There's always something to learn from seeing other people play the game as well. Alright, this is pretty excellent. There are some entertainment issues here, though. Yeah, these things are, are waxing and waning. Um, Again, apologies if I sound stuffed up. To Actually, screw the apologies. I am stuffed up. I don't need to apologize for being sick. I do feel a slight level of regret over it, though. Where's my theater? Here it is. I'm going to assume the problem is something like actor colony no functioning. So I'll put the actor colony down here. I'll get them you and you and I have a warehouse over here that gets pottery. Oh, huh! I'm actually surprised that the pottery is holding. I would have thought that I had too too few pottery. Everything is working, but apparently not. 
Well, they're finally attacking from my weakest point. Let's see if my defenses will hold. I think they'll hold wonderfully. <laughs> there we go. Thank goodness we have a quick button to mute the microphone. I'm actually going to clear this out so my legions have more space to utilize. In a more wonderful situation, I would have had this full of towers, but the money's been a little too tight as of late, so we've got to make do with what we have. Ooh, if these guys go on the offensive, why not have time to get my legions in place? Nah, the close ones are close enough. Oh, whoa, 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 they can actually walk through the diagonals? I didn't know that. I'm about to regret not knowing that. Go, my legions, go! Get into position. Column formation is good for you. Okay, something went on with that elephant, but let's not worry about it. I think me and Ninjin were looking at it for a wee while, or Ninjin and I. It was something like there was some unused or glitched out death animations. There's even death animations for the children in this game. They will they will actually keel over, wither and die. You see their skeleton on the ground as well. It's hardcore, so many games shy away from killing kids. It's a Palmar map. It's going to be tiny and somewhere that no one cares about. Hey! One wonders why he does it. Oh, that's rather convenient. It even means I can pelt enemies that attack from here, from here, with impunity. Thank you, Palmar. Thank you for making such a lovely, easy, relaxing map today. I'm joking, of course. This map is not easy. The economy is crushing. Hmm, not crushing me, though. Uh, I already need to start thinking about... Uh, something. Brain. Work. Uh, yeah, it doesn't want to. Patricians. I need to start thinking about patricians. But where and how? Also, I produce too much weaponry, so I'm going to switch this back to being a marble quarry. Could marble quarry here, but then I block the road to Rome, so that's a no-go. A rough map to take on. I love seeing you back on Caesar. Oh, have you uh, you played this map, Matthew? Rough map. I think you'll find that we've been crushing it with uh, no real issues and no reloads. Om vi inte omedelbart får mer mat, finns det snart ingen som kan betala någon skatt. I beg your pardon. Om vi inte omedelbart får mer mat, finns det snart ingen som kan betala någon skatt. Well, thank you for helping me reflect on how happy I am that I have not heard any Swedish voices in a long, long time. Now... Tax base is secure. Money is coming out of the walls here. I have to subcontract out people's own insulae so I can jam dinars into the wall. Ha oh, ha, oh, creaky. Almost 12,000 taxation this year. Right. Right, right, right. Hey there, Palmar. Uh, now, I know you rub your nipples to the exceptionally harsh parts of the map, so uh, as you've probably missed the start of it, yeah, the first two hours were a little brutal, but we've turned things around, and my plan now is for more expansion. We're almost, we're already halfway to the population limit as well. Um, patricians, where do they go, and what do they look like? This is a pretty good area for patricians, but it's really good for feeding a large population center as well. So maybe I shouldn't. Elevated land is good for patricians because it has an inherent boost in desirability. But space is a real consideration. 
final frontier, if you will. Doesn't matter how elevated it is, any amount of elevation gives plus 10 desirability. It's just difficult to move water up hill. Let's imagine these houses are grand villas. They're close enough to my legions for me to be able to put up a defense here. And I'll probably also put some towers here to help with the defense, but probably also give um, services to them. One, two. Is that even how it would work? Desirability wouldn't be that easy to get up here, but they'd have they'd had a flank on the back of oracles, most likely. With services here for them to come down, and they could be fed modestly. Oh, this is an invasion point, and they can come up here as well. Ooh, but that's okay. We can clog it with uh, foot troops, maybe even wall this part off a wee bit. I can't believe Ingen Betala Nogon Skat. Uh, Ingen. Uh, okay, I pass. Uh, I was I was never talking in jest in the fact that I never picked up Swedish despite living there for eight years. My body just rejected the language. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, eight grand villas here would probably solve all of my prosperity issues. Desirability boosters. Yeah, I think that's what I'll go for. How about watering them? Nah, that should be trivial. I could even water them from behind if I wanted, but I won't. I'll water them from in front. They will get their food on this side. <laughs> Crikey. Don't mind me. Uh, foo oh yeah, yeah, but there is the attacks from here, right there. I should, I should actually just clog this up, wall it off here. Uh, in that case, food delicious here, including meaty imports. That does waste this area. Something awful though. Hmm. No, I'm pretty sure I could shove in some plebs here. I, I've been known to shove plebs in places. This is definitely for services for you. One, two, three. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 -da. Loads of desirability boosters on this side. Services come down, hopefully at some point. No time for hogs. We will be getting hogs, but they're going to be imported. I mean, delicious imported meat is pretty great. Some services could be on this side. Honestly, we can have services on both. It's no big deal. And I do want some towers here. My patricians deserve only the best defences. In fact, some of those services could actually come down and around here. Wouldn't be tricky. Something like so. Okay. Now, one of the slightly trickier parts is how to divide them up. So the first one's going to be here. My life is made a little bit easier by you just being able to merge like so. And then you should grow into all of this. Getting mergers along the center part here will make my life immeasurably easier. Fortunately though, and I should check to see all possible merger points. It's more like a negative space puzzle, because I'm looking after the non-merger points, but that's fine having you there. I mean, you would merge into this. I know that's a merger point, I can tell just by looking at it. It's fine. Same could be said for you. And you. Um, 
losing track of things. So you expand into there, you expand into there, you expand down into here, you expand up into there. You do that, you do that, and then I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I want to put an eighth one down here, I believe. That should be fine. We'll get the people in, we'll get them working. And I really need to spend a lot more money. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have the marble to invest into the vast amount of uh, oracles that I want right here. So instead I should build other expensive things that they're going to want and or need. Such as a... Ooh! You know, I quite like the idea of a high-up coliseum over here. Yes. And what I could also do is link this together so that I can have walkers over here that go around to that. It would ensure that they all definitely get access to the Colosseum. Yes, yes, I like that a lot. It also allows me to spend quite a lot of money, which is good, surprisingly. I think why is spending money good? It's because Caesar, at the end of every year, determines how much tribute you should pay. And he looks at the net in outflow, but then he de uh, detracts construction from it. Uh, I might have been wrong about the construction thing, that's related to prosperity. But the point is, the more profit you make every year, the more Caesar demands in tribute. There's a minimum amount or a quarter of your profit, whichever is higher. Okay. I should really be building a whole lot of stuff here, shouldn't I? Sadly, there's not a lot of space for some of these things, but I really only need a gladiator school here, actually. Everything else will be fine on its own. The gladiators will make the walk across. I do want a tower around here. I definitely need a prefect and an engineer to make sure everything's functioning around here. They should get labour access, no problem. I'm just thinking about other things to spend my absurd amount of money on. This is not a good place for large statues. This could be considered pretty good space for them, but they don't affect a lot of people from there. You know what? Caesar's earned his tribute. I'll let him take a big fat chunk of it. Ah, no, not before I build my farms. It might be cheap. Oh, he's already taken it. So what did he take? He took 1,268 in tribute. That's quite a lot, but of course, uh, that's the income minus the expenses, and he took a quarter of it. Still, he's left me with a fat enough stack of cash. I'll be able to make this work. Knowing that this needs to be promptly defended, I'm going to keep a wall here to remind myself of that. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and it probably is only eight, not nine. Let's see, you go there, 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 you go there. Let's have this wrap around together like so. And I need to figure out your food situation. Fortunately, it's a Palmar map, so there's food everywhere. Uh, a grand villa has 100 people living in it. That's 800 people. Um, what's 800 over 3? It's awkward, it's like 266 or something. But fortunately, it's only one wheat farm, two vegetable farms, plus the imports. Hang on, are there enough imports to, to feed that? How much meat do we get? Only 15? Ah, crumbs. Uh, it's 1,500. How much? How many people can you feed them? Oh, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. You point out so many Palmar tropes, you should do one that specifically goes against these. Ah. He wouldn't have the pair. I 
wonder if I need. I wonder if I want to move my oil processing over to here. This is really thickly jam-packed. I probably should. And there's not much of an export economy anymore to speak of, so it's not like I need to keep all of my import exports over here. I could even turn off the um, the weapon stuff soon enough. Just thinking how to how to do all of this. Um, I said I wanted services here. Now I'm not so sure because I could have warehouse and warehouse, but I also want my amphitheater over here. want to limit my marketplaces need to roam around so much. I probably want all my marketplaces around here. Actually, I, I could space around my warehouse. It's not too big a deal. Probably have my granary here. It's not a desirable neighbor, but you'll get the foodstuffs from there, including imported goods. That might not be a good idea. I need multiple granaries after all. I think I will have those down the, down the stairs. Okay, okay. Still thinking a little bit, but it's okay. Do I get imported wine? I get vines and I get wines, so okay. It's painful, but we are going to be importing wine. But that's okay, I have a trick for that. Doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. Right, for now, let's just make sure that we're getting our oil and our furniture and pottery over here. They aren't going to have a huge demand for it, so I can just shove it all over there. The wine is the bigger problem. And it is a bit of a problem. Don't like the idea of having all of my expensive wine right on the invasion point, but the uh, the defenders are close enough by that it shouldn't be a big deal. Probably have wine processing down here and brought up to there. Or I could just have the wine processed and have everything done with it down there. I don't want traders walking all the way over there, do I? I need the lesser known and desired triple granary set up. Hmm. There's a lot not to like about that. Through to you. going to go. There's not a big demand for the farms, but I'm going to over farm because often you run into food production issues early on with this kind of setup. Especially for wheat. Wheat more than anything. I need to make sure this is well defended and accessible for my legions. That should suffice for getting this operational. So wheat, wheat, Veg, veg, veg. You take the wheat. You take the veg. And the meat must go here. And that I'm going to keep ultra simple. Oh, I can even have them nicely packed together like this. You take the meat. And now we're going to tell ourselves to import the meat. And need it eventually. Kind of expensive using meat just to get ourselves up to uh, Grand Villas, but I hope that maybe we can hit palaces if we're lucky. I do actually fear an invasion from here now. You guys should be able to get through that easily enough, but I just want to delay them. I mean, these will melt in the face of elephants, but 
The elephants are usually the ones that bring up the rear anyway, and Carthaginian infantry is surprisingly poor. What surprises me is they don't reflect the Carthaginian uh, cavalry. But uh, everything only gets one cavalry unit and one infantry unit, I think. And then, of course, they were going to use elephants over Numidian cavalry. Right, you guys don't really have labor access right now. And I don't think you'll easily get some, so I'm going to give you some disgusting temp labor. That should solve all of your issues. Of course you need engineering, and of course you need prefecting, and probably more prefecting. And you're not even going to have to work unless I give you this pitiful little bit of a road nub coming out of you. 25% taxes, indifferent towards me. I'm going to drop it down to 4 just so people get very happy with me. And while we're at it, let's minimize the risk of anything going horribly, catastrophically wrong around here. The engineers should have no problem doing a long walk around here, but I will not give them the opportunity to have a problem. I think we'll have you get the vines as well, and then I'm going to have the wine presser or wine pressers right about here there we go of course that means I need to import the vines and now we're getting to oh I'm going back into debt sooner than I thought at least all these should merge without issue there we go he knows his merges so he does need to prevent them from becoming large um large villas before before I need that. There we go, in come the vines, and up goes the, the debt problem. The people are pleased with me now, so enjoy my tax rate, and now they complain about barely having anyone to work here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll take care of all of that. Expensive, though. Jake, you son of a bastard, says Disarray Jake. I'm slowly catching up to date with your videos. I watched your Morrowind one shot. It was peak entertainment. Nine hours of pure bliss. I've always loved your shenanigans. Such a contrarian to norms. One of my uh, close friends in the real meat sphere calls me a contrarian, but he doesn't usually say it with a positive tone to it. But you're very welcome, and thank you. I never set up somebody here to have that vino, did I? Um, I don't want you there, I want my amphitheater there. I think I will actually keep the wine man over here. And my hope is that I get enough wine in there that I don't need to kill myself with double wine imports for quite some time. Yeah. Fabius wants my pottery. He wants a lot of my pottery. Dangerous amount of it, but he can have it anyway. Starting to really think that I want a little bit more pottery production around here. I have the space for it, so I'll just throw that down here. And money... Ah, I was thinking I was so rich, and I was right, but now I'm starting to feel a little bit of a burn of it. Burger, this place has more workers nodig. More arbiters. Hmm. Well, that's okay. Whenever we need workers, we can just trim away from our uh, barbaran pacifiers. Salve! Es wird eine Menge Arbeit kosten, um diesen Barbaren zu zeigen, welche Vorzüge Rom ihnen bieten kann. What? Oh, ich bin so froh, Römer zu sein. Ihr solltet sehen, was diese Barbaren in ihren Hütten so alles treiben. I neglected my need for water around here, as I often do. And the natives block me from getting any access to this water. Barely, but they do. It's no big deal. I mean, I have other places that I can grab the water from. And this is a pretty ideal to place to splash you down to. Yes, I'll have you here. Such decisions are not made trivially.
Hey, the food is piling up rather quickly and nicely, which is great. Again, I intend to have my desirability boosters on this side, not this side, so unfortunately for these people, this side is going to be really rather undesirable for them. There they go. I'll make sure they have the doctor and the barber ahead of time. Because my city health is probably average at best. That's it. He knows his stuff, so he does. God, I love this game. Right. Right, right, right. Do I want to water you? Yes. Do I want to water you on this side? Maybe. Kind of gets in the way of a few things. I think the more clever thing to do is actually to water you from the back side for now. There we go. Give them the B day watering for now. I might shift it this side once they all grow into 3 by 3s just to maximize my space. For now, though, it's not an issue. Right, they've got wine. They are getting the other goods. The oil, I must remind myself, is a temporary setup. That oil will run out. And when it does, these all come crashing down to meet of insulin. Which at the moment would be a big boost for them, but not currently. Uh, not later. Right, I am so low on marble that it's a little bit disgusting. I need to keep some on hand these days. Keep myself at eight. Caesar is happy enough. I'm going to really worry if I don't get more opportunities to make Caesar happy. Because I can't do it with uh, presents unless I use the uh, year-end exploit, and I do not intend on using that. I need to give these people religious access. Since these are very desirable, I might as well put them here. Who, who really wants some? Neptune, Mercury, and Mars. Three will be fine. Neptune, Mercury. Uh, I, I already need the marble. Oh, I got some of that. Neptune, Mercury. And Mars can go here. You know, when, when my marble quarries finally pull out their marbles. School access is going to go here because it's one of the more difficult things to actually get. Hopefully it can reach everywhere from there. I really don't want to put it somewhere like here. Eh, it depends. I can, I can shift it if the need arises. They absolutely need to pay their patrician taxes. Forum might be desirable, but I'm still going to have it on this side. Actually, them paying their taxes is of such vital importance that maybe I should sandwich them with it. Yeah, give them no choice. Make sure that they get ultra taxed. They're going to need a library, and whilst it is desirable, I'll put it up here in the hopes that it walks down to there. There's a slight problem for you. I think you're going to be a bit of a pain in my butt, but that's okay for now. But only for now. You are going to need a theatre, and I didn't get around to building that amphitheatre. What was that thing at the top? Your city is something something? What in the world was that? Can I rebuild that? Oh, more workers. Wow, okay. I'm just so not used to seeing that. Enemies at the door, so let's hope they don't come and ruin everything. The bathhouse worker, which is uh, almost hard-coded to never walk the way I want her to, can go... Uh, there's no great place for you, is there? I think I'll put you here, and I'm actually going to move this road to there. Engineer can still eke out an existence uh, there, I guess. And can I get my large temple to Mars? Ah, that's the stuff. How do people feel about my taxation these days? Very pleased with me. Good. I can continue to trim away from these. 
Still waiting on pottery coming over here. After they get that cart of furniture, they will start getting the carts of pottery. I'm a little concerned about the low amount of pottery that I have here. It will be okay though. He got it, so now he's off to get it. Les chariots toute la journée, ça prend de l'énergie. Comment est-ce que chariotneur est supposé faire tout ça sans de la bouffe? Now I actually might be in a bit of a problem with the food production here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Nah, it's fine. Believe in your food production, Jake. You have mastered this game, there's no way you're going to be tripped up by underproducing food, but uh, let's save and save often. Been a bit since I've been able to catch some Caesar 3 Live, says so care. It's been a bit since I've played some Caesar 3 Live. The move to Hungary disrupted quite a lot of streams. But now I'm here and I'm set up and then I got sick, so it got disrupted some more. Hey ho. I'm a little concerned about the desirability around here. I might find this a bit of a struggle. Oh well. Once the pottery comes in, we'll see how far they go. They'll be able to go to large casts, I find, with the pottery. Small insulae with the uh, with the entertainment. Little medium insulae because they have access to furniture. Large insulae because they have access to oil and a barber and a school and a library. Are they all getting them all? You are not getting one of them. Impressively, the school reaches everywhere from there. It's very unusual for school kids to actually make the rounds. For some reason, the librarian hates to visit you. He just hates your guts. That's okay, though. It's nothing that cannot be solved without, I don't know, another library. Probably going to walk over there to you. Um, right. Large insulae is fine because of multiple foods. Or even stocking multiple foods, in the markets at least. Um, okay. They should have everything they need to get up to Patricianville. I'll give them a hospital, because that's how nice I am. Uh, hmm. <laughs> yeah, he's immediately thinking, again, does he want to be that nice? He doesn't have much of a choice, though. I do want towers over here. Maybe I'm being a bit too anal about the tower thing. Academy's got to go somewhere. I don't really like it here, but put it there anyway. That should be plenty for my patricians. People are still very pleased with me. We're okay on the unemployment. Well, we're better than okay. Det här är som så lite skatt att det slöser i med min tid. I think he put a bit too much into the so little, but uh, Ninja was getting really into it. I'm mostly there for the Oyoba. Yoba and Scatning! Which might not be correct at all, but it's what I hear. Right, this is the first test of our ability to defend our patricians to be. So, let's actually put down a gatehouse. Most people use gatehouses for uh, controlling their walkers, but I'm more interested in controlling these invasions. I don't know what kind of speedy Gonzales we are contracting to build these walls, such that they are going to keep these menaces out of our city, as they are invading the city. But I'm glad they're there for it anyway. Now... Hmm. Don't actually know where I want my javelins. I want them in Banner Lord. I'm having severe difficulty thinking up another Banner Lord run for what it's worth. The rogue gameplay is so feature incomplete that it's hard to really justify a playthrough for. Right, I'm a little tempted to pelt them with javelins from down here, but when they've reached through this, it's a long way to run back around and support my heavy infantry. And I'm not sure if I can throw javelins over all this stuff or not. You know what? Why not? 
hedge my bets on both. Caesar's messenger to Jake is a very stressed and tired man. <laughs> It's a uh, irresponsible wizard and overstressed, uh, overworked lawyer, right? Look at the Caesar tinge to it. Where? Oh Christ! Yeah, they're unable to throw all past that, but there was no way they were getting through. A four-layered, military-trained lot of heavy infantry. Splendid. Do we even take any losses? Not a sausage. That's pretty good. Good performance by me against these Carthaginian scum. What are they doing in Lug Dunham, anyway? Go home. Back to Carthage. Don't argue with your own weird Senate system. Oh god, they're on the way again. Hmm. Right, there goes the oil. Wow, oh, they drank up that furniture like it wasn't even there. But it should last a fair while. Hopefully I have the wherewithal to... Oracle these guys up with impunity. Okay, tax rates are fine. Tax rates have earned me how much money? Eight grand this year, and the year is not up yet. Once you get the oil in, this is good. We're filling up with wine without having to in import expensive wine. There goes that oil. Oh, crikey, I really need to see to my oil situation. How are we gonna? How are we gonna handle this? Who gives us oil? Is the question. Yeah, olives rather. Massilia sells olives, and they only buy wheat these days, so I think the obvious thing to do is to have it over here. I would like you to accept oil and olives. Then I don't actually need you to get oil at all anymore, which is good. Because we managed to empty. Oh, you're not emptied of oil yet. Ooh, well then. Do continue to scoop up that oil for now. But process two lots of oil, which is more than more than necessary. I only need one lot processed here. But it'll be fine for now. Keep those olives flowing and make sure they don't end up in here. I had to remember that, and I'm fortunate that I did. God, that sounds very sticky. Wine goes sticky, right? I don't handle it very often, so... It seems like something would go sticky. It's made of fruits. Employees needed? Eh, not really. We're fine. That looks good. Oh, that looks great, even. But I do worry about the desirability. Quite a lot, even. I shouldn't have given them what they need to become... Um, Become larger. I will control their evolution with statues. But yeah, no plaza makes this a little awkward. I'm gonna do something. I just want to be able to take away these back row fountains and replace them with oracles. Because desirability is a big hot button topic around here. There we go. Next up, they're going to get wine and evolve into patricians. And honestly, if we end up with taxed patricians, it's game, set, and match, unless there is a staggering Carthaginian attack or. Caesar doesn't allow me to raise his popular uh, his favor with him anymore, or my favor with him rather. Can 
Coming in from here again. Now, this is one of my lesser defended approaches. But again, if we're just... Oh wait, where's my walls at? There we go. Just need to kindly ask some contractors to make their way over and uh, wall this off a touch. Yeah, some of that is now too close to enemy troops. Right. I wonder if you guys can get over there and be useful. I wonder if Palmar has any multiple invasions on the same month. Oh, these guys, uh, these guys have a mission, though. They are on the march. And there are a lot of them. Holy moly, okay. Right, well, we got there just in time to defend. Ooh, maybe not even. They're going through those walls. And we're not in position fast enough to help them. Ah, crap. Uh, get back. Those elephants mean business. Point of heavy infantry is to tie up elephants until you can pelt them to death, because otherwise they just crush a lot of them. Took some losses, but nothing too serious, but it did show a little chink of weakness here. Okay, and I do actually probably want my towers. Those guys were on a rampage, though I'm quite certain Palmar gave them a, an explicit attack order. Something like target highest level housing or something like that. Well, would you look at that? Despite being the closest to the hospital, you claim that you do not have access to the hospital. Yeah, kind of made this situation for myself. Um, huh. I want to give you a dedicated hospital, but I don't have much choice. do need to move you away in favor of an oracle, and then I will move the taxman across here. And now, 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 I need to begin in the evolutions in a controlled environment. Wait, entertainment, not enough. Ah, of course. Wait a minute. Everyone has Colosseum access, no doubt about it. Everyone has Amphitheatre access. You are the- oh wow, the theatre walker doesn't go here. That's interesting. Cool. Right, well, the theatre just needs to be transplanted a bit. I'm gonna... No, it doesn't. What I need is an actor colony somewhere over here. That will solve all of my problems. I guess I'm not going to be getting my towers up here. Dang. Oh well. Oh well. Does that even give me the space for what I want here? Oh, my actor colony here, sure. But I also need a, a lion tamer somewhere. Yes! There you go. Now they all should be fine. I worry a little bit about the market lady not reaching you from there, so you get your extra market lady there. And you just want to evolve once you get your next bit of entertainment. And there you go. I'm going to do this. sure you're watered. Hey, that's good stuff. 
Ooh, man, some of this is looking real good, but unemployment is going to be a problem, so let's just take care of that before it becomes an issue. Hmm. Take care of even more of that before it becomes an issue. Yeah, because they all pinged into um, patricians at once. It took a big bite out of my workforce. I'm a little concerned about the pottery taking a long time to get here. Do you think you could also get pottery, please? Just you know, speed up the acquisition. It's not like we have pottery production issues. It's just taking a wee bit to level out. And the marketplaces barely have pottery. That could become a problem soon. Also, he still refuses to walk here. Right, let's just have these guys expand a bit. Desirability is a bigger issue than I thought. I really thought all of this would give them enough desirability. But it seems I was dead wrong. Do -do -do -do. Okay, if you throw like that. Hmm. I may have to get rid of you in favor of an oracle. Yes, the all powerful oracle is going to be doing a lot of legwork around here. You need to go so that you can expand. I need to make sure that there's water for you on this side. That should suffice. Just get you there. I'll keep that there just in case, though. Then you need to expand. Oh, crumbs, what's your problem? I don't know, and I don't think I want to know, but it was probably lack of desirability. Might be that I need to get rid of one of these center ones for a large statue, but I'd like to think I can get nothing but patricians in a long line here. Okay, good, you ate them back up. Now you guys need to grow. The ever-present desirability issue might be solved by a well-placed large stat blocks walkers. Hmm. Not brilliant, but it might help. Let it grow. I actually think if we just have a bit of gardening around here. And then you have a similar approach. Don't devolve now. Yeah, there we go. It's not perfect, but it can be worked with. The main issue, of course, is that I probably gimped the tax return here. And I don't want to play the walker game, so I'm just going to add more tax walkers. Hmm, not that I've afforded myself a lot of space with which to do that, so maybe I just have to hope that the tax guy makes the good walk. Oh, what's your problem? It's going to be a recurring issue, isn't it? Ooh, I don't like where I live. It's not very desirable. And that's exactly what the problem is. I'm going to purge you and bring in an oracle here and then hope that that takes care of the issues. Not bad. Not bad at all. I wonder how many statues and plazas Jake has in Ballot. It's actually pretty nice here. It's one of the reasons I wanted a resort town, is that uh, at least resorts tend to always get amenities. Even if they have low population. I'm not sure if the food imports are going to be enough. How many people can you feed on 15 loads of meat? I, I can't remember. Normally I know these numbers off the top of my head, but I'm a little feverish, so it's hard to remember. Surely we've got some people who know the numbers inside and out. 15, 1500. It's 15 divided by 0 0.06. Eh, probably fine. 
Let's just believe it'll be funny. are very pleased with me. The unemployment is low, the taxes are high. Good, let's just hope we don't have any upsets. There is pottery here, wine, oil, furniture, it all looks pretty good. Meat guy delivers the meat. Ah, bonjour à vous. Est-ce que je peux vous intéresser à des biens de haute qualité? I'm starting to think I shouldn't be at... Wait, where, why are you coming back? Ah, bonne journée à vous. Est-ce que je peux vous intéresser à des biens de haute qualité? Probably selling me more iron, which is a waste of my time and yours. This is the back and forth I was talking about earlier that I didn't want. Ah, bonne journée à vous. Est-ce que je peux vous intéresser à des biens de haute qualité? He wasted a bunch of time going back and forth there. Time that I really could have done without him wasting. So I'm going to turn off my iron imports for a while to prevent him ever doing that again. Unless we end up with massive military losses, that should be okay. It's really hard to tell if everybody's actually being taxed properly, especially since the walkers love to get stuck in these squares. This really isn't an ideal setup for these. But I need all these desirability boosters everywhere. Hmm. to squeeze these in. Tell you what though, I bet I could shove you over here, get rid of you, and then have another forum here. Because the actor colony walkers are going to come down, along here, along here, pass all of my uh, patricians and then go up to the theatre there. That gives me another opportunity to have more uh, tax walkers. It's, just, it's so important these people pay their taxes, so I'm going ham on the Swedish tax collectors. Om du inte bort, får mer mat. Finns det snart ingen som kan betala någon skatt? Yeah, everyone's complaining about lack of food around here. The food situation's fine, but you're worrying. Being taken away on how hard Jake perfects the map, only to notice he has to squash another 4,000 people onto the map. Ah, but you see, I have built so densely that I have all of this area to work with. Even this is superfluous and could be uh, taken away. Hmm, man. It's good. Jag har hört att det finns jobb här. Oh, jag vill bli en lejon tämjare. How do you not have god access? You got three of them right here. Shocked that they're not making their walks, but oh well. Which one's not making its way? Neptune, Mercury, Mars. Mars doesn't walk there. Damn you, Mars. Well, it's not the end of the world, but what could be done about it? There's the off chance that a Mars sta uh, temple would walk down there, which could help. And I will take that off chance. Let's just make sure that nothing's going to be falling down around here. And then you just have the desirability issue. You claim the prefect is the problem, but you're just being a fussy Roman. The prefect is fine. Even so, I probably could migrate the prefect back a bit. Say to there, and maybe an additional one about here. Get rid of the prefect and put down a very ineffectual small statue of me. Good, I didn't want to eat my words on that being the problem. The problem is that I don't have access to plaza. Plaza would take care of so much of this desirability. But something else would as well. Observe. I'm going to say that we import wine. Hey, there we go. And now I'm going to say that I don't import wine. These two will devolve. Womp, womp, womp. But you will remain. Because there are thresholds for desirability to prevent yo-yoing. 
Oh my god, he comes so close and then just turns around. Go here. This poor guy needs religion in his life. It was hard enough to get him doctor access in his life. Yeah, no, he, he doesn't want to. There are other ways that I could do this. So I will. Uh, hmm. Wouldn't quite work the way I want it to. Yeah, he absolutely doesn't want to walk. Oh, 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 oh come on. Ah, oh, Jesus. Freaking walker systems, man. They're not that great. Once this is full of wine, I'm going to set myself to import wine. Hopefully we'll never actually buy any imported wine, but it's just to boost these guys up to uh, pallet. Oh, oh, he did make it! He barely goes and gives you access. Great. Alright, let's celebrate by actually importing wine then. How many of them actually do the evolution? They claim that it's still desirability, but I wonder about that. I don't think it really is. Squeezing more desirability in up here is uh, pretty much not going to happen. It's not that it can't be done, it's more that it probably shouldn't be done. Even so, there's a tiny little spot here for a cheeky little oracle. And it's really cheeky. Uh, perhaps a little too cheeky. Put you here. That's really cheeky because it can be maintained by a walker that goes over there. So hopefully it won't burst into flames, but it still gives the evolutions. Oh yeah, look at that! Now their problem is... Um, their problem is entertainment. Because they don't have access to the, uh, the Hippodrome, they can't go higher than Small Palace. Which is not strictly true. If I increased the overall coverage, theatres would probably be the easiest way, um, then they would actually go a little bit beyond. I need to check my numbers though. Uh, hold that thought. Caesar, three resources. Uh, which one was it? Entertainment and taxes. PNG. The jump from small palace to medium palace only needs five more. So they currently have 10 from the theater, 15 from the amphitheater for 25, uh, 50 because of Colosseum, and they've probably got like five more thanks to other coverage. Yeah, it's not, it's not worth the extra mileage to bring them any, any higher than that. These two are bothersome, but I don't think I could shoehorn in any more desirability. It's just too tight as a tiger. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. The all-powerful Oracle can only do so much. Even an Oracle here wouldn't have any impact. Actually, I can say this is done on purpose. One, two, three, one, one, two, three, one. Practically a pattern. Good enough for me. Seems like everything is flowing nicely as well. Yes, yes, I can find this very agreeable. Shame about any wine imports that are going to clog this up a bit. Okay, okay, okay. I like what I see and I see what I like. How in the world are we having food issues here? Come on, folks. Well, the fact that you even get food issues tells me that there is a food issue, it's that simple. What can be done about that? It's uh, almost definitely... wait. Where is the pottery? get the goods anymore, just accept them, because I'm sure there are some going over there when they should not. And actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to purge you 
and this road and you. And we're going to move this warehouse onto the street. There we go. We're not. We're no longer at the point where we need this overwhelming amount of uh, marble. And do we even sell any of it? Yeah, it, it strangely enough is still something we can sell. Thank you, Palmar, for allowing at least a little bit of trade to continue on here. But I do wish Caesar had more requests because it's getting difficult to see to his demands. Is somebody talking about large uh, population maps? I'd like to make a map at some point that requires population 20,000 as this terminal. But this is lovely for you, but I do not play maps that have such high demands on population. It is actually less exciting, you think. It just becomes stamping down more and more of the same blocks. Nay exciting at all. I think I did one that needed 15,000. Ectolon, I think it was called. But yeah, if I see a population requirement above 10,000, I just don't bother unless I have a very good reason to do so. Right! We're actually at the point where we just need to smooth the map out. I need to stamp down another 4,000 people, maintain good prosperity, and I'm sure it is rising. There's no reason why it wouldn't be. We pay above Rome, we make profit. We have such high-level patricians up here. That's what we're talking about, how to avoid the stamping. Um, you would make a very rugged map that is difficult to build blocks on. Um, so more rugged than this, even. Of course, it would need to be large to accommodate that, but you need to avoid open spaces like this, this, uh, kind of this. There are some bits in the way, but not enough. You would need to have the map be a lot of stuff like this, where you can't reasonably make a good loop around for it. And if you want to uh, be extra punishing, tell your player that forced walkers are prohibited. Okay. Hmm. The, the main plug, or the main gap I need to plug right now is furniture. I haven't left myself a good way to produce lots of furniture. Left myself this big open space and I ended up not using it, didn't I? Where's all my pottery going? Am I actually still exporting it? They don't buy it. They don't buy it. And nobody buys my pottery. That's fine by me. This I want to get rid of, but I need the furniture still here to keep this functioning for a little while longer. Well, I don't strictly need it. Um, I thought I'd put in some pleb housing here, but that's starting to look less and less feasible. Ah, I'm not a big fan of forced walkers. Still trying to think what to do here. I shouldn't get too complacent about the attacks. They could still get big and powerful and painful for me to deal with. I would rather like some towers across here. And they'd be a much better use of unemployment. Not to mention my money. Let me think. One, two, three towers. Four towers. Five towers. Six towers, seven towers. I could probably mess something up there, but let's see. Yeah, definitely. You can put walls out of your towers so that they can spawn javelin throwers, but they're really weak and pathetic, so I tend not to bother with them. No. There's no good access to food up here, is there? No, of course not. There's no water, and if Palmar thinks there's no water, then there's no food. This is easily enough solved. I'm just going to put these down. I'm going to let them just burn away. It's no problem on my part. Mm, 
is how I really feel. Maybe. I need to move my barracks over. Barracks has done its job fine. Now it just needs to fill these guys up. There you go. Oh, oh right, yeah, of course the barracks needs to not fall down, doesn't it? And we're being attacked from over there, so this is a good test of how this works out. I'm glad these guys get their labor access. Oh, right, yeah, of course they get labor access. There's a small tent here. Sorry, small tent, I forgot about you entirely. I don't want to have crappy little tent access, so I'll give you a little bit of stuff there. Um, that was actually a small problem because I need these soldiers to be able to walk through here. Smirna. Ooh, right, there's uh, foliage in the way. They couldn't actually get through that even if they tried. They made it through the Alps, but they cannot get over a small pebble or a little shrub. That's how poor Hannibal's units are here. But it's uh, 2 or 3. I mean, Hannibal's still alive, but he's long, long kicked out of Italia by now, right? Again, I don't know my name. I don't know my dates that well. This is going to be a very bad time to discover that I'm wrong about something. Whoa! What? I missed that entirely. When did he ask for that? A year ago. Of course, he only gave me one year to do it, as usual. But yeah, I missed that just when I was saying that he used to give me more. Alright, well, we'll stockpile for it. This is a big and serious amount of them. That's okay, we've got a big serious amount of our own, you know. Oh, dearie me. And inflation hit. Quite a big bit of inflation. Yikes. Okay, well, I'm going to want my uh, barracks back soon. Yeah, that was scary. Maybe I should set up some uh, towers over here as well. Yeah, that should be our focus at this point then, just setting up um, better defences. But I want these ones to be filled up. towers over here so we can take care of any attackers here a lot better. Let's replace these. Yeah, I'm starting to feel really happy about the fact that I elected for four heavy infantry, two javelins, as opposed to three and three, or god forbid two and four. You need heavy infantry to have lasting effects on the battlefield there, otherwise they just get cleaved through. And don't even entertain the thought of using cavalry in this game. Roman cavalry is terribly bad. The only advantage of it is that it is fast. I would only consider using cavalry in a map where I don't have weapons or I have a huge area to defend against pretty crappy units. Because then I could happily just run around with cavalry and take them on. Hannibal is too much of a personality. He walks over mountains and shrubs are like Lego. What the? Oh well, I guess our towers are operational. Shooting the poor sheep. They don't deserve it. Enemies not at the door. Damn, Hannibal's gotten crushed. Food situation looks good. Money situation looks good. Everything looks good. Except for my favor with Caesar. That remains a big problem. I'm about halfway through my time as well. <sighs> that prosperity looks great though. And surprisingly, peace as well. Right, these are all set up, so all this can go goodbye. I'm going to put my barracks back to replenish my units. I got plenty of iron and weapons stocked up that I can fill up the barracks and get these things done without needing to re-enable imports. 
Still need to do something about this. I need to set this up to become a place that people can live. But you know, I don't really want to. <laughs> I don't think population is a particularly exciting goal to aspire towards. Oh, well, damn, he actually wants something I can provide him. There you go, Caesar. And can we get you there, Mar- Yeah, there we go, sweet, not too shabby. And that means I can also turn my marble exports over eight back on. I found that one prefect chasing off the retreating army. Hilarious. Yeah, it's it's less hilarious when your city burns down because your prefects have decided to defend the city. Okay. There we go. He acknowledges receipt. He is happy about the wheat. Uh, I still need 40 more happiness with him, and I don't have a salary to give him trinkets to make him happy with, but that's how it goes sometimes. Still bothered by these. I wish I could just... Well, actually, maybe I can. Had I even considered doing this? Jeez. Okay. Uh, what could I do for you, then? Well, what can I do for you? And then the parents walk in. Um, it's not unthinkable that I could... Two, three, and two... Right, what I could consider is all I need to do is water all the water sources on this side. So I could even have you as far back as this. Get Aqueductal here. Delete all of this. And that will give me an opportunity to bring forward some desirability boosters. Tell me that's still working. Come on, don't, don't do this to me. There we go. Now, it's not unthinkable that you go here. Can I then get rid of you? I am so freaking good at this game. Okay, sweet. Nothing but palaces. Palaces double the consumption of wine, but we have local and imported wine to satiate their smelly Roman needs, so that's okay. Alright, now what? I do regret the location of these guys here now. Oh, I'm, I'm wondering how big of a deal this shack can become himself. So I'm going to give him carte blanche to grow as much as he wants to. Uh, I can't block that off, that is disallowed, but... With that, you should have a good amount of desirability. If hobble's the limit, then hobble's the limit. That's not my problem, that is yours. <laughs> Caesar 3 is truly a world of real emotion. Glad someone gets it. You know how lonely it can feel to make a reference on stream and nobody wants to pick up on it? <sighs> Not lonely at all. I'm making that up. I do feel my lack of defense here, though. Are we sure we can't just squeak in a cheeky little tower? If I migrated my barracks again, I could actually deal with that. That's a waste of weapons, but... You know, how, how far are you willing to go? There we go. I've got to at least make it seem like I'm trying to defend my patricians. I don't like you being there, actually. Anywhere but there. I don't want to disrupt that walker by extending the road out. And he almost certainly would get disrupted. But there's nowhere else to... Are you all paying your taxes? Not really, actually, but they pay enough taxes. I'm not going to lambast them over it. I just saw it. That'll be okay temporarily. And it is very temporarily. There you go. Once this thing has its turret, I'm going to peel that back over there. 
Or maybe not over there. Maybe I'll uh, prep it for some more towers around here. I need to expand this. I'm just hesitant to because I don't have a good plan in mind. All of Caesar's demands are taken care of. Alright, let's just uh, bite the bullet. Away it goes. Hachut <laughs> and all of that. Now, I need to somewhat rapidly put down a population center here. They need to be fed, of course. It's not ideal, the layout here. That's a bit aggressive. I mean, they're just these little... They're not quite Marocs, because they're very visible. Marocs would be uh, like general rocks on desert ground. There's a lot of food I can squeeze out here. A hell of a lot of food even. The question is how to capitalize on it the best. Something like so. I just make these up as I go along. It's difficult to uh, difficult to think up good farming layouts on the fly. Yeah, I can put you there and there. That chugs up a lot of it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Quite a lot of farming. This uh, this should be used by a lot of people. I should feed as many as I can around here. Of course, thanks to these rocks, it's not going to be so easy to do so, but... Can't just complain about rocks all day, every day. I can try that. And really put some effort into it. I don't need to worry too much about... Inefficiencies in terms of employment, because we have massive unemployment that we can tap into. I do not like being adjacent to that. I also need to keep into account the fact that they can attack through here, so I don't want to build too close to this. But this has kindly sealed this area off for me. And I truly need to make sure that I have timber yarding operational. Which should probably be done up here. Maybe I could even tap into this and do it up here. Yeah, I mean, hell, this place isn't desirable for just about anything else. I can even use this forest here. Two is plenty, but yeah, like three. And as long as they tickle their nose down there, they will have access to the employees. Actually, this doesn't make too much sense with that layout, does it? No, it does not. One, two, three, four, five, six, fine. This isn't going to win any beauty competitions, but it doesn't have to. What it needs is access to labour. Uh, this is just one big merge or die project. I'm curious to see if this is going to tank my prosperity. I have been utterly convinced that vacant plots tank prosperity and then utterly unconvinced of it so hopefully this is something of a decider for me with this many vacant plots if they affect prosperity they're definitely going to dumpster my prosperity if they don't then i can be assured that they don't cross test if in January my prosperity rating goes down instead of up, I'll know that this affects it. 
it's possible that last time I tested it, something else horrible happened, like my... Um, like I turned a loss instead of a profit, that would do it. Just slamming these things in to make sure nothing bursts into flames. So right now it is 65. Hopefully I'll remember that, but if I forget it, I will love it put into chat. 65 prosperity in 202 BC. And then at 201 BC, bearing in mind that I am making a disgustingly healthy profit off of taxation. Oh yeah, workers needed. Well, not soon, but... Okay, well that proves it. Absolutely, definitively, it does affect prosperity mightily at that. I knew it. See, I always thought that uh, vacant uh, plots had prosperity rating zero. Good to know that, as usual, I'm dead right. And that is why I tend to build them in January. I just did it this time because I wanted to check and see. I should be able to make that prosperity back in about six years. Yeah, make it seven, but we have time. We have over ten years. Okay, well, uh, people don't really need to pay my exorbitant taxes right now when I'm building this up. But uh, okay, this merger story is a sad one. It's mostly because these damn rocks getting in my way. Damn, it's 30, 37, that huh? feels like a kick in the face. Why did you all... Oh, right, these devolved because of... Uh, why did they devolve? Well, there's a good reason for it. My population grew to the point that the relative amount of entertainment given from my theatres and such became so low that they didn't get the global bonus, and there's a global entertainment bonus for that. Just battle on its way. Wow, this is a very, very sad picture of merging. God, this is grim. <laughs> this isn't what I want at all. Alright, come on, do better than that. <laughs> well, that's even worse. <laughs> I don't want you there. I'm giving my all. Oh, nice, you merged. That's pretty cool. Cool, because it's on the corner here. It's very far away from here, but it's just slightly close enough to get services, as long as they don't cut corners might prompt you to ask what's a cut corner service and oh I missed that emperor requests my army oh uh, small troop 24 months small huh small right small means that academy trained legionnaires and javelins one of each should be able to take care of it and that will definitely give me the favor that I need you don't want to merge there. Fine by me, I guess. But will you kindly merge instead? God, the merger situation here is grim. But I need to get rid of these one by ones. I need to save my city from this prosperity uh, attack. And it is an attack on my beloved prosperity. This is awful. Just awful. Right. Let's see if some of these issues get sorted. Hey, I know you would merge, but you're in the way, so it's not my problem. Do, do, do. bring you together because you're going to block off the path here, but 
I don't think I need all this food. I'm gonna get rid of you and have the path go that way. Especially if this merges, which it does, I'll feel happy about that. Right, getting water around here is gonna be a bit of a pain, but not an insurmountable one. I've been thrown out of my own! Yes, you have, Knickers. Can't be great. Uh, actually, I am hemorrhaging money right now. I'm going to bump up taxes just for a wee bit to uh, bring that prosperity up. Last thing I want to do is have it lowered because, uh, be lowered because of loss-making. Right, this is a million percent going to merge if I put you there. You merged, which is nice. Jeez, just not too, not too much population here, huh? I know you thought I was going to use magical Roman water, but I'm not. People love to complain about it, so I'm trying not to use it at every opportunity. Need to put you there so people can still walk through. And now I should just be able to water all those folks and begin a half decent. area. Workers area. Work area makes it sound so bad for the people. Even though I do things that are only good for my people, nobody seems to appreciate it. Right. There's a few troublesome things that you need. One of the bigger issues being, since I only have large temples, they're a little harder to squeeze in. You are so in the way, it's disgusting. Um, I have a bit of an idea for this area. Hmm. How good an idea can I make it? And get rid of you and put in the Temple to Ceres. They. Oh, out of my way, protester, now is not the time. Yeah, whatever you say. You know I don't understand you. Love to have some towers here to help out with the defense. Getting to that defense is actually going to be a little bit of a pickle, but that's okay. I'm sure. <sighs> Holy Roman water is even worse than forced walkers. Really? You dislike it that much? That is sad. Uh, I was thinking about putting something here, but I managed to forget what. Also, holy crivens, how could I forget? The, uh, the furniture actually needs to go somewhere. Furniture place. Wow, they're low on furniture there, so I'm glad I spotted that. I also need you to get pottery for these folks. Yeah, I think I have plenty of pottery production here, but can I really be sure? Might not be the worst idea to expand the pottery workings. Especially since it wouldn't be difficult to do so. Or pottery. One, two, three, four. There we go. There should not be any pottery concerns for the rest of this run now. I haven't given myself a lot of opportunity to grab more off of this. Like I have a, an additional amount of people living here. And I probably should have that be an option. But I can snake this out. Yeah, I can snake that out there. That won't be a problem. I still want a warehouse somewhere around here for that kind of stuff. That's going to hurt desirability too much. Maybe there? You should still get workers for that. I'm going to tell you to get pottery. And then you can also be central for people getting stuff here. Okay, that's good. 
And you don't burn down at all, which is also great. What the heck is your plan? Where are my where are my immigrants? They should be oh, there they are. I suppose the theft made people a little unhappy. Marketplaces, we need them, but probably not too many of them. One, two, three. And you're going to need a librarian. And I'm not even sure if I want you to be small insulae. But I need the housing density, I suppose, so I will. Ugh, but that means theatre and amphitheatre and blah blah and blah blah. Yeah, I might just make do with small insulae on you. There is no good reason for me to push further. I should have all the prosperity I need out of you guys. Hey, nice. Also, oh, down you go. It's the population thing. More theatres would take care of that rather nicely. Is there somewhere that I can just throw theatres at? Hey, look at that. Up's a daisy, down's a daisy. People are pleased with me. That's right, I jacked up my taxes again, didn't I? So that I wouldn't be looking terrible on the prosperity o meter. I lose one point of prosperity for not having access to the Hippodrome. Other than that, I should be able to get everything. So, eight per month. I need about seven, uh, per year rather. I need about seven years to get that all up, but it should be fine. Population is the main problem, and it's a problem that is actively being dealt with right now. I know people hate seeing small casa, but I don't uh, don't want to exert myself, you know. Caesar wants wine. Well, wouldn't you know it? I can actually give you lots of wine. But here's a better question: Should I? I don't particularly want to. I'm gonna tell Caesar to suck a lemon. I should get actually. You only get 25 uh, bonus favor for protecting an imperial city, don't you? How long until they make their way to the target location? I can't remember. Alright, Caesar, you get the wine this time, but I'm on to you. Love seeing those full um, those full granaries. It also helps some people not complaining about lack of food. Which isn't necessarily people starving, it's just they look at the overall amount of food you have in all of your granaries and then complain based on that. This is so ill placed here, but oh well. Apparently my loyalty will not be forgotten. Experience shows that it will be forgotten. It is always forgotten. City health is average, which is not good enough. I will give these people a doctor. And what the heck's your problem? You hate where you live. There we go, go. That's not too bad. Should bring the population up to somewhere like 72, maybe 7,500. Uh, maybe that's a bit too much to ask for, but. Up there, to the point where one good expansion should finish off the population requirement. Small cast is fine, large casts are terrible. For looks, large casts, I admit, they do look alright. It's just a pain to bring these guys up to small insulae. Uh, it's not that bad, I suppose. It's just putting down the... The amphitheatre. It's big, it's bulky. It's never a good place to put the amphitheatre. I mean, it would be fine if I didn't also have to have large temples, but I do. Uh, curiously... Uh, maybe that's a little too curious. Did I jack up my taxes again? I did. We can make do on 14% taxes fine these days. Let's not... Uh antagonize everybody. Gotta remember that we're under attack soon as well. 
I was wondering if I wanted to put a lot of towers here, and I think I do. <laughs> it's not the world's largest amount of towers, but I'll do. I'll just have to grab local labor for now, it's no skin off my nose. Engineer. Bar Wait, my barracks are still down here? Oh, right, I put you down here a million years ago. Right, there we go. And Prefect so it doesn't all burn down. And there we go, that should aid with the defences around here. I'd still rather I did not get attacked here whatsoever. I'm going to gatehouse this. And... Slightly discourage the attacks coming in too quickly. Mm, that poor dude's assaulted and robbed so many times, and, and just this playthrough, I've had playthroughs where I've had so much more thieving going on. Because you have to ride everything you can on city sentiment. It can be quite tricky. Alright. All is well. All is relatively well. Apart from this, I don't think I have any tents in the city. Yeah, looking good. Kinda wish you were at least at castle level. But it might be a little difficult to squeeze in a school or something here for you. Well, let's see what happens, shall we? Entertainment, education, school. Wow. All the kids go this way. One of them immediately evaporates here. Two of them evaporate on the doorstop. And there's one kid, doorstop, uh, stairway. This one kid makes a longer journey than half the uh, bathhouse workers and hospital workers ever do. This one school is amazing. What about this school, if it ever gets employee access? I know it will, the barracks got access. Ah, not good enough. Okay, I will try my luck with a librarian instead. No, not a mission post. A library. Over 7k. And these are all done, so this can go bye bye. Towers work fine independently as long as you initially give them labour access. They don't even need roads despite their complaints. But not a lot. I do need another. Uh, do need another working area. It is a tight map. Workably tight, but still a bit tight. What is your problem? It's a third type of food, but. Uh oh! Whoa! Mistakes were made. I didn't set you to be meat only. Right. I was thinking it awfully suspicious how uh, meaty the warehouse was. I could have sworn I'd set you to meat only. Did I delete you and replace you at some point without noticing? Anyway, there we go. We shall rescue our poor patricians from themselves. All the imported meat they could possibly want from Italia. I'm assuming it's coming from Italia. Yeah. What kind of specialty meats do you get up in Mediolanum? I assume they're really good, but hell, I love meat. Just ask Marvin. Right. It's going to be relatively trivial to squeeze in the last of the workers over here. See, you say Italian sausage, but I don't know what goes into an Italian sausage. Of course, you should never ask what goes into a sausage. <laughs> Just 
migrating some of these labor sponges over there, because I will want them cleared out from here eventually. Are we still making a profit? Good. I don't want to make a loss, because that would impact on my prosperity. Which, whilst it isn't a precedent issue, I do need to make sure that it stays high enough. There we go, back to where we should be. Ah! Hey! Looks like using square formation, which I have fallen in love with with Bannerlord. And my favour is right up where it needs to be, 95. In fact, if I didn't have that prosperity crumbling from all of this, I could finish the map right now, but nope. We've got to wait a few years for that to come back up, and we can squash some more Carthaginians on the way. I would really love, though, to get some towers around here. Because if I get any more attacks around here, I think this is one of the main... I don't want to say choke point, but it certainly is a point where I get squeezed by them a bit. I don't know if Palmar is here right now, but they might be going, Oh no, he's building next to the natives. They're going to tear down his city. This map has no native trading hut. Which, whilst that means you don't uh, get the opportunity to trade with the natives, it also means the natives don't even actually spawn. So you can build all over the land they claim to be your, uh, theirs. All you want, and I will. Where's my barracks right now? I didn't put it back there, so I can put it over hither for now. Just have a little bit of labor access here. A prefect and an engineer. And all should be fine. Mmm, pork sort, pepper, uh, pepper, fennel seed, and dextrose. I do like some fennel. Gak could go for some good meat. They like their meat over here, but. I don't know, I feel like they don't love their cheese as much as they should in Hungary. It's awfully expensive and not great, uh, not great selection. But maybe I'm looking in the wrong places. Yeah, put my wages up to 50 for these plebs. Doesn't matter to the patricians, they don't even work. Hang on, I thought I said I'd put my extra workforce over here, not over here. I guess I don't need to migrate them then. Uh, well, actually, with that, this is the only place that isn't defended by some extra towers. I could change that. But I don't think I will. It is well walled, and I'm going to wall it even more just to make absolutely sure of that. So I'm going to take their time to get through this, and then it's pretty close to all of my army, so I should be able to merc them there. Yeah, I'm pretty confident in this. And these already have the people they need. Almost. Get out of here. Quit your revolting on me. Oh, I see. The problem is that you also have this road here. That's why you're not uh, not getting what you need. Whoops. My mistake. Please don't burn down or break down or anything like that. Actually, you can break down, I don't care about that, but don't burn down. Do -do. Do -do -do -do. I made a loss last year, but it wasn't as extreme as my construction, so it wouldn't have impacted my prosperity, I hope. 61, though, we still have clawed our way back to what we had before. Still rising, though, so hardly a concern. Isn't cheese currently fixed price in Hungary? Is it? Didn't know that. Maybe. There's crazier things in the world than fixed price cheese. Hey, we get to test out our defenses here. And they will be tested because we don't have our units back from saving. Where did we even save? I think it was somewhere in Italia. Right, well, let's hope uh, Hannibal hasn't chosen this moment to send all of his everything at me. 
You know, my one moment of weakness. If I'm going to be using any kind of delay tactics, I should use it right here. Right in the face of all of these uh, towers. Fight the good fight, lads! Oh yeah, Balliste just ruin elephants. Balliste take anything out in one hit, except an elephant. An elephant can tank one, but it'll still uh, do a hell of a lot of damage. I'm not actually sure that an elephant can be defeated by any number of Roman cavalry or melleeing um, javelins for what it's worth. They are extremely bulky. Alright, that's all well and good. You have what you need, so certainly away all that goes. We'll have you back to replenish units here. Need Caesar to need something, but for now we're fine. And I'm interested in making somewhat more money, so I'm going to set my taxation to 18%. Higher than I'd like to, but it'll be fine. Boy, I'm pretty low on meat. Uh, well, I'm sure it's fine burnt through the amount that we had here, but people like to stock up a lot of food. And if they eat multiple types of food, they, they, they still only eat the same amount of food spread across those three types, so their consumption actually feels quite low. Okay, 73.48. How did my favor just go up? What? Oh my god, I have almost never seen that before. I actually met the, um, ah, oh, I gotta talk about this. I swear I saw a tent out of the corner of my eye. Do I have any tents? Um, meat is the lowest priority of all foods, Victor. They prioritize food in the order you see them here. First wheat, then vegetables, then fruit, then meat. And market ladies do the same thing. If market ladies have access to, uh, well, any of these foods nearby, they will first stock up on wheat then vegetables, then fruit, and then if they run out of wheat before they go and get any meat, they'll go and get wheat, and then if they're fine, they'll go and get the meat, and then everything else. Right, so, uh, I normally don't look at the, uh, the map before I've finished it, but I want to look at this whilst it's still in my mind. We, we made our save, right? Yeah, I know we just did. I like to make sure about these things. Assignment editor, we're going to load up Alpine Valley Mark V. And I'm looking for win criteria. No, I'm not. What am I looking for then? Mm, is it special events? I think we've already seen everything, so we don't need to worry about that. No, what, what in the world is it under? Starting good. Here we go, milestones. So, um, a very under known and utilized thing are these milestones. You can set these milestones, and the player needs to reach 25, 50, 75% of the requirements for the mission, and they will get a uh, they'll get a small favor bonus or a small favor detraction depending on if they meet this or not. And I must have just met one. So when are we when are we playing right now? It's either 197 or 187. So if we come out of here. Yeah, we just hit 197 BC, and because we were more than 50% of the way towards our goals, we got a small favor boost. Does it show up here? Uh, it wouldn't, because if you're over 90, it just says, Ooh, higher respect for you than any other governor, blah, blah, blah. Still, though, amazing. Glad I saw that. Because I usually lag on my, uh, my requirements quite a bit. But yeah, I was just amazed to see favor go up instead of down at the turn of the year. That's incredibly esoteric. You do not need to know that to play Caesar 3. But I was interested having seen that. I'm going to squeeze in some more of my mission posts, I think, just to 
relatively out of sight, relatively out of mind. Salve! Es wird eine Menge Arbeit kosten, um diesen Barbaren zu zeigen, welche Vorzüge Rom ihnen bieten kann. You're right, mysterious placating man. My tax rate is too low. You learn something new about this game every bloody time, says Romvi. You didn't know about milestones, but they're right there inside the uh, the map making area. How could anyone not know about those? Uh start of next year I'm going to expand this with housing. It's a safe area, there's no good reason not to. Oh, well, there's a good reason if I just get flattened by Romans, uh, not Romans, Carthaginians. I didn't really understand what most of the attacking forces were back when I played this as a kid. But I remember wondering why the Goths weren't uh, dressed in black and full of piercings. It was a simpler time. Alright, Ballista, show me what you're worth. Oh, hang on, you can't actually because you can't see through this forest. Let me help you with that. <laughs> he got what's coming. I, I put these in just the right place. My units arrived just in time. Dear God. I'm glad that wasn't a double attack. Whew. <laughs> Go chase him down, mysterious Vietnamese prefect. Get back home. We we really need to piece our army together back after that. God, my, my English is so broken these days. I'm gonna end up eventually speaking zero languages. Scottish experiment, or an experiment done by a Scottish king, where they, they, they grabbed some kids and they stuck them in this monastery with uh, deaf nuns just to see what would happen to the kids. Would they would they speak? Would they develop their own language at all? And they did. I don't remember much more of it than that. And I might have fabricated the whole idea in my head, but that's what I choose to remember happened. What's the purpose of the missionaries? Currently they just soak up labour. I build my cities so efficiently that I end up with a massive amount of excess of unemployment. So I use make work for them. Uh, I, what you could do is just build loads of fountains. Even if they're outside of the range of um, reservoirs, they will still eat up four workers per reservoir. That's a bit click intensive. Libraries are really good because they soak up 20 people per building and they help you with your culture. Uh, but the best hands down in my eyes are the mission posts because they soak up 20 workers each and they don't need access to labor. They have global labor access. So you can just put them down like this. A good make work program. Caesar, well I'm drowning in pottery so I guess you can have that. I just hope it doesn't take this pottery because this pottery is meant for our betters. <laughs> Arbiters. It's not just that lots of unemployment gives bad mood debuffs, it's that low unemployment gives a mood buff. You actually get plus one global mood for having under 5% unemployment. And things like that allow me to make uh, 25 and a half thousand denarii on taxation in a year. God, it feels good to be me. It doesn't feel good to be my army right now. Right, prosperity is looking fan dabby doozy dozy. Everything is really. And I just need to expand my workforce a little bit. How many is needed here? That's 68, and I need a little under 300. Guys, almost 50 of those though, jeez. Why, why is the population requirement 90,000 here? Uh, uh 9,000 rather, if it's 90,000 I would have put this map down the moment I saw it. 
I put it down like putting down Lenny and Mice and Men. Mm. I mean, this is an overabundance of food, but I don't think I'm going to get everybody I want in here. So let's just say to hell with it and build everything we can in terms of uh, getting people here. Tighty. Um, merge or die. We're just going to slam in as much population here as we can. We'll figure out the feeding and the everything once we see the merges. I think this is why I'm not too fond of high population maps. It's because actually putting in bulk population is not enjoyable in this game. It's hunting for mergers, which is not great fun. You don't really need to think about maximizing your economic output of these people. It's just, I need to shove people in, let's get shoving. And then there's trimming them down for the mergers. And, uh... There we go. Make sure everything doesn't burn down as usual. Yeah, you won a couple of years ago, now it's just filling up time, precisely. Then again, if the money situation was still a big problem here, then I might think otherwise. But if I'm able to tax people this hard, then... I don't know how I would make this map more challenging, actually. The early game was quite, uh, quite tricky drop those taxes down a lot, given that we're about to face some unhappiness. And I can't afford to have my people stop moving in. The Emperor is grateful, Favor is fantastic, it's all fantastic. But I can't afford to have that prosperity drop down. These are probably going to devolve down to Grand Villas. E well, that's just a food issue. Nothing worth worrying about. Do, do, do. Yeah, there's a lot more control over the Roman water parks. They're not as dense for workers as this. Well, maybe they are actually. You have to count the roads, don't you? You get 16 in this, but... Hmm. Yeah, yeah, you might be right. Probably are right. This is Baron. He's played a whole lot of Caesar 3 by now. Do, 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 do. I, I would like to try for a merger here, but I'm not going to because it could, it, well, it would block that and that might be too important. Let's hope that you merge. Ooh, God. Sometimes I delete mergers because they get in the way of two potential other mergers and we've got a lot of that going on right now. I need to get all of this checked before the turn of the year. Wow, these are some sad freaking merger outcomes. This is not my map for mergers, not at all. Dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. Trimming this down, it seems to be working out okay-ish. At least with all this money I can very quickly put down a lot of this. You actually will go there rather nicely, I can tell. For any more? Ooh, not a lot. Not a lot. Good. 
Oh, what was that? Blom blom. Enemies closing. And enemies at the door. It's a dangerous time to be Roman. Uh, of course, I did not set myself up perfectly with water, but... Knowing that this is a safe area, I can slam you down hither. And then hopefully I can just water the rest, and all will be okay. Small tents utterly demolish your prosperity, so you really want to, well, not have them. Ooh, I hadn't considered how tricky it is to water up here, had I? Thankfully... Hmm. Yeah, actually, getting beyond that might be a little tricky. Curses, I have to say goodbye to all of these. I can't think of a good way to water them. I could give them just well water. And I'm just going to end up with some shacks out here. I don't think I want shacks in my city, so you guys are getting out of here. Do our everything. Marketplace, marketplace, library, theater, taxation. Certainly no representation. I'm going to get rid of you in favor of having a giant temple to Mercury. Let's not forget that early trade kept this whole city alive. Of course you didn't want to merge. Nothing forcing you to merge, but I will force you to die if you don't merge. If that doesn't sound fair, then you're quite right. You don't want to merge for some odd reason. Well, you don't want to evolve, rather. Oh, right, yes. I don't think I put down any engineer posts around here. Easily sorted, though. And how's my health? Very good, then these people do not deserve doctors. It's okay, it's okay, this is planned. Somebody made a joke about me and planned economies, but I can't remember what, how it went. It was funny though, <laughs> take my word on that. Probably something along the lines of, for a guy who makes so many planned economies, he sure doesn't seem to love communism. Something to that effect. Alright, prosperity at 73 seems fine, given what we did there. Oof, overall quality of your housing holds us back. I hope that doesn't become a bigger issue. If it does, I can always evolve these into small insulae. But it could end up becoming a bigger issue. I just don't want it to. Might need more marketing around here. There you go. Make do with that, everybody. And of course you didn't merge, so we won't even waste our time with you. We'll throw down some oracles. And if not oracles, um, medium statuing. And if neither, some gardening. And there we go. Bring up our tax rate a bit. Unemployment's growing a little uncomfortably high. So you might notice how much less these people seem to need desirability boosters. It's because they're on the elevated land here. Triumphal Arc on entry or exit to the city. Hmm. You know, this Triumphal Arc might actually help with desirability in a uh, awkward place, so we'll hold off on making that decision for now. Okay, 
failed at saying the word decision there. Decision. I think it's just the initial pressure on the food for all these people to fill up their houses. It's not an actual food production issue. There you go. Praise Mars for having defended us through all of these times. Yeah, workers and resources, is it ever going to come out of early access? Just feels like one of those never ever out of EA games. Wait, what a small tent. Oh, oh, right. Uh, I wasn't actually aware that I was stealing all, all that water from you, but there you go. Looking good, looking cast up. This isn't looking so good, and that's definitely going to impact my prosperity. But it can be sorted through the power of theatres, if I can find places to throw theatres. I don't particularly want to do that, because it can eat up a lot of the actors. I suppose I've already kind of given myself that problem now, haven't I? Well, it's not appearing to be a problem over there. Where else can I put you guys? I can throw you over here with relative impunity, can't I? There we go. Here's Theater Meadows. And the reason I'm doing this isn't even for culture, which is normally why you would spam theaters. It's to... get the global entertainment bonus and ensure that the... ensure that these guys stay as palaces, because I need that prosperity. All right, the attack is coming from here. A dangerous point because it's the only, the only undefended one with towers. I feel like I built all these towers and now I'm not getting any attacks in towered places. I don't know if they're random or predetermined, but we'll be able to check that out later. Our esteemed map maker now knows that my army is back and has had a chance to replenish. So he's probably going to throw quite a lot at me here. It's fine though. I was born ready for this. Mm. Mm. Well, that's a fair few of them. Togaboy wants my marbles, but I should have plenty of mar- Oh yeah, I got loads of them. I won't hurry to give it to him then. Oh, that's bad. That's really bad. My stick throwers aren't throwing sticks because they got engaged by the foot troops. Fortunately, though, my poor trod-on heavy infantry was able to handle that, but yeesh. They're going to need to lick their wounds. Keep you guys here to shank any who are trying to retreat. Go, my not fians. Yeah, change the delay tactics from the walls. It's helping out big time with all of this. Uh, prosperity is still growing, but I hope it's not capped. It apparently isn't, but... <laughs> the game doesn't like to actually tell you that unless you really have just hit that cap. So it'll say it's growing, and then it'll grow by one point, and then say, oh, you're actually at your cap now. Blobber made a prosperity calculator that I would use if I felt like counting all my buildings, but I don't. These meat imports are becoming a bit of a, a bit of a doozy for me. First attempt, correct. We have not reloaded even once. <sighs> that is nice society. So here's small insulae, small, uh, small casa, small insulae, that one villa we have, and our palaces. Lots of people retiring with not a lot of people to replace them, but that's fine because unemployment is, well, there's plenty of it there to be soaked up. We 
looking at today. Might need to start my iron imports again. My weapons are drying up. Not happy with that one little bit of oil there, but not much I can do about that. It's not worth deleting the whole warehouse over. Oh, we've hit the population goal. Sweet. In that case, I really should look at evolving you. I didn't think I had that many people in here. This food is going to become an issue. Um, right, well, if food is going to be an issue, then let's do something about it. Do, 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 do. Of course, you're just slightly in the way here. Just look at how fast wheat grows. If Palmar wanted to make this map extra punishing, he would have made no wheat available. It would double the amount of farms that I need, and that would put a pressure on space. Okay, there we go. We found a way to make the map harder. Go us. Still think I want to evolve these guys, though. Uh, how am I going to go about that? I know. Gladiatorial school here, and actor colony here, and amphitheater here, and since I know that we're cap, well, we have more people than we need, I can happily delete something that seems superfluous, at least superfluously wasting space. You're the closest thing we have, so amphitheater goes there. And let's see how they do with that. Oh, they're not going to do anything if they don't have leading bathhouses. There's one, there's one. Don't ask for more. That's going to be one overworked warehouse. You deleted an engineer. I did, but I'm pretty sure it's not going to be a problem. Risk, damage... Nossa senhora, que sorte que eu tô empregado com esse nível de desemprego que a gente tá tendo. I never thought I'd hear Brelic say that he's glad to have a job. Oh, crikey. He's not making his rounds around here. Do a better job, Brelix. Ah, oh, it's okay. Someone's coming along to break my stuff. Also, I forgot to send Toga Boy his marbles. There you go, he'll, he'll be fine, he'll, he'll see the funny side. Hey, finally, they're attacking where I have my towers. Unfortunately, my numbers are still mulched by the previous attack. So actually, there's a possibility that I lose here. What does Smyrna even mean? Come on, shoot him dead! Good, 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 good! Feed him in piecemeal! That's kinda why I did these dragon teeth style uh, walls. It was to make sure they didn't just flood in. See, see when they broke through here, they just came flooding right in. But when they're at an angle like this, they're more likely to get caught on the walls and tear more of them down before they come on through. And that just delayed them enough for the towers to shoot them and they just dribbled in piecemeal. Caesar 3 is not a military game. You can have maps where the, uh, the military is an exciting challenge to overcome, but in my eyes those are the exceptions to the rule. The exciting stuff comes from building a city, and the military aspect largely exists to push the player on to making themselves a city, perhaps rapidly, or building up enough of an economy to support 
military, i.e. I. importing weapons, or the infrastructure for importing iron and making it into weapons, or the employment to build up enough towers. Now there would be a thing, a map where you can easily defeat it with towers, but the difficult part is actually making yourself a large prosperous city with enough population to actually have those operational, and then you just um, make it so that the player cannot have any uh, any legions. I've never seen such a map before. Uh, this is bad. Why do you have furniture? Oh, that's why you have furniture. Ah, oh, what the hell. We'll have some different kinds of uh, buildings. I don't usually have mixed mixed plebeian like this, but I'm going to keep it. It's, it's got a it's got an authentic feel to it. Schmierne stand, uh, means stand still as a military command. Oh, that's cool. And this is also cool. I, I went above and beyond the population requirement here. We could be done in two years, depending on how prosperity grows for me. I need to make sure that I'm making a profit, which I am not. So I'm going to jack up my taxes like crazy and... Soak up some unemployment, as usual. You get to the point where you have so many people, though, that you need a lot of these to make a dent in your unemployment. But that's okay. We can build as many as we have space for. Placing them down kind of makes me feel like I'm placing beacons in Factorio. Must be the shape of them. Alright, there we go. Unemployment's below 5%. <laughs> this is... This is actually going to be hell on my poor market ladies. They do not like this, but... Shame on them. I should not have given these people access to uh, furniture. Um... Actually, it's not the furniture that's the problem. What I could actually do is remove their access to clinics. So what I'm going to do is exactly that. The clinic moves over here, this clinic goes bye-bye, and that's fine. Now they won't be able to use the furniture even if they want to. And they do want to. Jinx, what are they even sitting on if they've got no IKEA? The mind boggles. These people want desirability, don't they? No, they want entertainment. That's quite funny to me, but they're still not going to get it. I'm curious to see how my prosperity grows at the turn of the... Wait, we're still being attacked? Uh, fortunately, my army is almost entirely rebuilt. They're just getting the auxiliaries, which do not need... Wait, they're all called auxiliaries, aren't they? No, no they're not. It's just the auxiliaries that are being patched up, and those don't require anything. Auxiliaries will be filled up if you have a functional barracks. You don't need weapons, you don't need the military academy. That's it, they, they just pop out of thin air. You don't even need population. Your entire city's population could be one. And you would still be able to spawn 16, or actually, six forts loads of... Uh, auxiliaries from that one person. How he does it, I don't know. But he does it. Baths aren't making their rounds. Get up there. Actually, no, don't go there. Go there! We have too many people, so I might as well just shove you over there. Prosperity 84. That's a little concerning. It didn't go... Oh, yeah, I am actually blocked on housing quality. Oh, right. I didn't consider this, but I'll have to consider this. They're struggling on the meat. Okay, well then. I need to make my prosperity higher. I didn't want to have to do this. Probably better that I do it in the places that are safe to do so. Like over here and here. 
and these guys will just leave to their own miserable devices. But I don't know. Things are its own problems. Right, I know some things I can do. I can purge some of them and put in desirability boosters, because I know that desirability is a problem for some of them. I can... Oh, yeah, some of them hate me. This poor bugger here wants something. And then even you, and you're in a difficult position to do it, but this little garden might be all you need. Oh man, I'm so freaking good. Uh, and these people lack entertainment. Because, of course, I put the amphitheatre in the worst possible place for them. Uh, they're just going to have to suck a lemon. All in all, this should be okay. The furniture, on the other hand... What I can do for that is... Do, do, do. I see it. I'm going to turn off iron imports. I'm going to make you get furniture. Gonna have another warehouse over here that gets furniture somewhere somehow. Food is well balanced, so I do not want to get in the way of that. What I can do though is purge you, you, and you. Grab this warehouse right here and tell it to get furniture. And didn't I get rid of your clinic access? No, I gave you clinic access. Oh, I was ahead of the curve on that one. These guys will get access to the furniture then, and they'll evolve to Mijum Insulae, which might be enough to grab up my prosperity, but it might also not. If it is, I'm going to start purging some uh, some of the crappier housing, like you. In fact, I don't have a lot of crappy housing to purge, do I? If any at all. I've got a very well-built city here. Don't want to pat myself in the back too hard, but it is good. If I had noticed the meat problem earlier, this would not be a problem. But I didn't, and it is. What I could also do is just add in a few more uh, patricians, but I don't want to. I really don't want to. Is everyone paying their taxes? Also, what's my tax rate? <laughs> yes! Good, good. I got this one little small casa here with no bathhouse. I'll have to live with that. Okay, good, good. This is just the evolution I was looking for. Lovely. Distant battle. Now is not the time. I'm trying to close out the victory here. Yeah, as expected, some of them are having problems due to desirability. Some of these problems can be solved. I mean, not all of them, but some of them can be. I'm going to even ditch you and give you an oracle. Okay, good. The last place I wanted you to attack me was where I just built these statues. Also, let's hear it for being attacked where I have actually set up defences. Good. Uh, part of me thinks that I have not built up enough defences here though, so let's just build our arc after the rain comes. I'm going to add extra little bits here and there in the hopes that they get a little snagged on it. I'll probably also clear this out a bit so we've got a better area to attack from. So a lot of good decisions are paying dividends, and one of them was to centralize my military here. I knew that I was going to be attacked in all corners, and heavy infantry is slow, so having them in the middle means that that was the shortest that they could go to everywhere. And the, the attacks have been really balanced out in all corners, but uh, the tightest one's been here. We arrived just in time to uh, grab them as they land. But again, maybe I'm patting myself a bit too much on the back. 
Gripes. Whew. Yeah, jolly good. They hold well, they hold really well. These are like uh, high tier Sturgeon infantry with their big shields. I've actually come to find those my favorite infantry units. Sturgeon uh, heavy spearmen. Get them into a square, they just don't die. Cavalry charge, they don't care. Archer fire, they don't care. Okay, now I'm in a little bit of a difficult situation. The game just says, amazing prosperity. Once you're above 90, it stops telling you that you're above or below the limit. So I just have to hope that it's going to continue to grow, but I have a couple of years to fix it if it does not. Mm. I'm actually going to get rid of this in favor of a more desirable oracle, which should help these a little bit. And you... Good, 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 good. Hopefully I don't have to do this here, there, and everywhere. I'm also going to put you over here. Thank goodness we have all this marble stocked up. I've been making marble from the start and have not stopped. Can't stop, won't stop. That is good. That's real good. Let's keep it being real good. Hey, nice. Well, now we're looking real good on the mixed uh, housing, and nothing is worse than this small castle. <laughs> My little mark of shame over there. Right, you know what, I wonder if I couldn't just eke something out of you. If I, if I give you this bathhouse, are you going to wash yourself? Yeah, no, Caesar, just smeg off. You're not having my furniture as well. I do have the furniture to give him, but that doesn't mean I want to give it to him. Do, 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 do. Don't forget the arch. Yeah, where should the arch go then? It's not needed for any desirability. I always feel like the patricians should get the arch, but I, I, I've left myself no space for. Well. Let's take a chance, shall we? So the thing is, no one's going to walk. No, tell you what, I'm going to keep the arch because I will probably want to make this an eternal city and I want to place the arch somewhere really nice for that. So I'll hold on to it for now. And don't worry, you'll see it because I swear someday I'm going to make that video about eternal cities and then you're going to see this. Al What's this place called again? Alpine Valley? Alpine Valley. What the heck is your problem? The bathhouse lady doing her usual, which is cheesing me off. There you go, let's get some more baths. Baths for my smelly Romans. What do you have to say in your defense? The här huset betalar verkligen så lite skatt att det slås i med min tid. I don't think that's really the bathhouse motto. Tänk så hur till att fungera bra här. That's more like it. Actually, they would say that my city is amazing if I had four months worth of food instead of one. And probably that I had better health coverage. But the things you need to make people truly say your city is great is a little anal, so I tend not to bother with it. Although I do in some of my eternal cities, like eternal Londinium. Things are out of the way here. Triumphal Arch in the middle of the shack block is the best one, says Baron. Okay. Right, enemies aren't even at the door. Unless we have missed the prosperity target, we should be fine at the turn of the year. What is your problem? I'm not here to have people with problems. I'm just going to delete you. Actually, you've had problems before. I remember there was a market lady that wasn't going there. Right, I do anticipate victory, so I'm going to make a December save. Uh, a quick scout around. Oh, you could be one of my undoings. You didn't get your extra food tight. Because I'm still waiting on my meaty imports. Oh, wow, we actually do have a problem. A real problem, not one of those made-up problems. 
We are short three points of prosperity. Right. Right, right, right. There are a few things I could do. I could just mass purge a bunch of my, uh, my people. But I think the more fitting thing to do is to evolve more of them. So I'm going to give these people doctor access. You're meant to be getting weak. Why are you having such trouble with that? Go on. Hoover it up. Okay. Ooh, wow, that looks bad, doesn't it? Just ignore that. It's not my problem. So hungry for some meat. There goes the meat, but other people like to gobble it up before he gets it. I should run the numbers though. Maybe I have slightly too many people for this amount of meat. Toga boy's getting cheesed off by his lack of IKEA, so I will send it off to him. Oh wow, we've got a lot of people just falling. Oh, it's because they're rushing for the well everything really. The market ladies are under pressure to perform. So am I. Turning the northern bunch into Grand Insular would be nice, yeah, but also not something I'm looking to do at this point, and you know it. They'd need a second food type. I would need to expand my oil production. There's a whole lot of things I don't want to do for that. Yeah, praise Neptune. Mage of Insulae, Rome acknowledges. I would eat my hat if this was not enough for uh, for winning. I even have a large casa here. I could have a better than large casa here. And I will. There we go. Unless any tents have snuck in. That can always be checked here, I suppose. Looks, oh, looks fine, though. Light insulae, Med hmm? must have some large, oh yeah, large castle will be here, there, here and there, thanks to the, uh, thanks to what exactly, why would there be large castle anyway? There's not, it was just having me on. Alright, we win, come on, give me my victory dance. Whew, I was actually worried that I wasn't going to get it. There we go. Once again, you've proven yourself to be one of Rome's finest governors. I mean, one of. Prosperity rating ended up at 98, so we did overshoot. 95 is a lot to get, though. Every increasing bit of prosperity becomes harder to get, especially if you don't have access to luxury palaces. Luxury palaces trivialize prosperity requirements, but uh, if you don't have them, it can be a bit of a difficult thing, especially if you can't put big blocks of the villas and such down on so, 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 what do I think about that map? Uh, very, very positively. The early financial squeeze was great. And I'm sure Palmar's thinking, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it was too easy to make money later on. And sure enough, it was pretty easy for it, but I think some things could have been uh, done to make that harder. Uh, off the top of my head, no access to wheat, and uh, having to import clay or pottery would have made this a whole lot uh, tighter because then even when I had small insulae to make good tax money off of, to get the small insulae I would need to import clear pottery which is an ongoing cost for them, not to mention more farms needed for it. Once we had our patricians on, on the go though, things were pretty much solved. But remember, we dipped into about five grand of debt to make this happen during this expansion. It was good. Let's have a look at it on the... Uh, assignment editor part, shall we? So, I don't know if it was a mistake or not, but if you don't put down a native center, natives will not spawn on the map, so they don't lock down areas or anything like that. Not that this area mattered at all, and this area mattered even less, 
but I'm unsure if that was a conscious decision or not. Beating this map on stream, very well played. Beating... Come now, come now. Beating this map on stream in one go, Matthew. No reloads, no forward knowledge, no nothing. We just did it. We did it good. Uh, what else to say? It's a, it's very, it's a very Palmar map. It's bisected by a river. There's a lot of area to to grow food on, and it follows the water. It had an ineffectual uh, earthquake. So yeah, it's a very by-the-books Palmar map, which doesn't mean a bad thing at all. It was a very good and enjoyable map, and I did appreciate the money up front and the fiscal challenge that uh, lasted for quite some time. The attacks were pretty damn good. I know it looked like I beat them off with very little effort, but those were big, heavy Carthaginian attacks, and even the late ones, if I hadn't set myself up very well with a centralized army and some additional um, ballistae, that would have been a big problem. See, the, the problem with them isn't having this big military fight that you just barely eke through, or you just barely lose, and then people go, ah, the city's getting crushed. It's about making an interesting map building experience, and for this, it was taking what was already a rather large map and trimming it down quite a lot. Oh, can't build around here, can't build around here, can't build around here, and now you need a large army, but it needs to take up this prime area for building. That was fantastic. I don't know if it was done on purpose or not, but it was very good for making an interesting map building challenge. So yeah, great map, highly enjoyed it. Nice to fight Carthaginians for a change as well. Nice to not fight Goths or Pajama Warriors. And on top of that, being on a clerk salary and having to get Caesar's favor with some very tight gifts, uh, not gifts, but uh, requests, an excellent touch. So thank you, Palmar, for this map. And I have just been alerted to another map that I should go and check out by... Oh, hang on, I've got the DM right here. Why don't we give it a quick preview? Seven Soul is telling me to enable God Effects. It's built around it. Okay, well, if you insist, I will do it. Um, M and M and M and M and M. Can we just download you and have a quick look at you immediately? As a pro streamer, I think I have the skills with which to do that. PC, Caesar 3, Pilgrim's Bastion dot sav, so it's a save file to work with, not a map file. Alright, let's come out of you. And go load, and what was it called again? Pilgrim's Bastion. I know I just said it, but mine's like a sieve. I can see why it's built around God Effects. I think this one was done with some... If I think I remember seeing this one posted, and it's something like these are immune to fire and okay. Well, Mars, Mars was not immune. <laughs> <laughs> oh, excuse me, that was too funny. Um, some save game editing was done to make mm, fire immune at least, I guess. What was up with that? Oh, why did Mars burn down? Okay, jeez. Good times, but yes, desert map means it's horrible, and there is local wheat, great. And look at that, arable land that's not necessarily against the water. Now we know we're not playing a Palmar map. Wharf availability, okay. Hang on, hang on. How did you get a road built through elevated land? I think our seven soul friend here has some tricks that they know how to use in this game, and I want to know how. That, I am certain, was done with some kind of save editing. Because this is a straight up Julius save, right? Hmm. Doesn't look like an Alpine Valley. No, it certainly isn't. It's a Pilgrim's Bastion, or something like that. 